No. Oh. Live just. Hello. Welcome to Hello. Couchfield. Welcome to Couchfield. Yeah. Uh, tonight we're going to have a. We think about the past year and um. Be happy. About all the things. That was not a requirement you said to me before this stream. I just cannot continue. <laughs> yeah, that I didn't prepare to be happy. That wasn't part of the homework. Please I have your people call my people. I am out. <laughs> yeah, I might, might have uh, strung these guys along with it. But yeah. Or just look back in time. So we're just going to go in a chronological order. We'll start do, at the start do, of the year do, and go do, back do. to here. Now, now time, da, 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 December da, 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 da. 2020, the year that everyone loves <laughs> to hate. Yeah. Yeah, 2020 is quite a bit of a heel. Very much a heel. It's like the worst heel. Like, you just know 2021 is going to be almost as bad, though. Yeah. I've Except not got a high hope. Especially at the start, when we go into Brexit mode. Oh, oh god, I've... Oh, <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> you... What is your psychological test here? <laughs> your experiment, like, man. Have you ever we're, considered... We're, we're going here to be happy. I'll mention Brexit. What if we could that? feel... What if we could possibly feel lower? Yeah, I'm the, I'm, I just... I don't want to, like, have high expectations after the year because what we need is one of those in memoriam things of everyone who's died this year as well no, no. well i mean we'd have to wait we'd probably have to be waiting until 2030 for that one to finish yeah <laughs> yeah and on top of that it would be it would be quite good as well as like you could have one for like the government truck ups that would take even longer oh my god don't know you go there man we're still not finished with the fuck ups this year Oh, oh there's no. so many to go. Go. They've got so many opportunities. They've got so, there's a few doors left on the advent calendar of the Tory <laughs> government, I'm sure. There's Twelve, 12 days. days. Yeah, what is it today? Oh, that's right. Fuck with them some more. Advent calendar. Yeah. Oh, advent. snap. <laughs> anyway, right. so uh, let's let's go and start, start off with the, the first quarter. Year. Okay. Who who wants to start? What 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 was their what were they doing in the first quarter of the year? Well, it seems like an eternity ago. Um, yeah. I would suggest that I would it would probably be easier to start off with like how I how I started the year, and that I don't remember anything about January. No matter how hard I've tried, <laughs> there's nothing <laughs> there. Um, so the only thing I could think of that with with uh, within that sort of in the before time, as they say. <laughs> Uh, was that uh, I started listening to um, the album I Let It In and It Took Everything by Loathe, which is like a properly amazing album. Yeah. Came out, I think, 22nd of February. So actually we were getting <laughs> getting pretty close to problem times anyway. Yeah. yeah. It's about the first thing I remember this year. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. You don't, you don't remember, Before um... the dark times, before the empire. You don't, you don't remember Sorry James. Oh. Was that January? Oh, no, that, that was like February, though. Oh my oh, god. god! I do not. I did. Sorry, Colin, man. I thought that was last year. <laughs> <laughs> I really thought that was last year as well. No, yeah, I, I don't remember year. that. Oh, that was this year. I swear it was. I'm not saying it wasn't. Well, that's looked, scary. I looked at our the video history on YouTube, and it was like that. Would probably be a good yeah, way of telling. Second of February or something. Are yeah. we gonna have like a when we when we upload this video to wherever? I take it like we can if there's like stuff like albums or movies or TV shows or whatever we can link uh, to that stuff in the oh, yeah. in the description. Yeah, yeah I, well, we'll I don't think you're legally allowed to say link to the description without pointing down the way. Sorry, link in the description. Yeah, there you go. That's better. Or, don't forget to like. But... So yeah, don't forget. To... You press the button here. Don't forget We're to here. like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and mash the little bell. I would uh, love, I would love no. to do that, like sort of borderline style, just and then it like appears with a little subscribe button there. That'd be amazing. <laughs> Maybe I can put that in post post edit. Colin, if you can do it, man. I that's could, the... 
that's our that's our that's our new subscribe button <laughs> Steve's head but on. yeah i would 100 percent um if you're into i know it's like it's a little bit of shoegaze a little bit of metal a little bit of thrash a little bit of doom it's really cool um sort of like i know uh it's difficult to describe but it's totally worth a listen i think the band are from merseyside as well uh oh, yeah. so they're, they're they're really they're called loathe loathe um and the albums uh, i let i let it in and it took everything i thought you great. said wow loathe that, that first. was the start of the year that was the start of my year that, that is for both that's a pretty was... good album <laughs> and it, took everything. it was yeah i started out the year with loathe and uh <laughs> Ended it with loathing. Ended, ended it with yeah. The interesting thing though, and I will say this, like, is that um, there is other music on my on my list as well. But the uh, that album, I listened to it and I was like, that's probably going to be one of the best albums I'll hear all year, and it's still in my top my top three. Nice, that's good. Like that's ten good. months later, so yeah, where's, totally worth it. Who was that? Was where's Riff Raff? Uh, did he release a new album this year? I don't know. I, I will listen to Neon Icon all day, every day. Uh, the Peach Panther is quite a listen. So, Panther? Yeah. Okay. Oh, jo like Jody Freeman's. He's got loads of names. <laughs> you do need a lot of names if you're going to be in the music industry. Yeah, I sure saw a yeah. stand-up comedian doing that. He's like, oh, you know, getting announced by like this like by the announcer was pretty boring what if i was like a rapper and they just like spit out some random like yo yo blah 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 and named all these people well, i can't remember half of it but like it's all him i think it's on the stage type thing and it's like half a minute going through like random statements that i'm concerned Kirst kirsty have you frozen or no. I, I can't your picture is just static on my screen yeah. I think she's just there. Yeah. Am I just blurry? <laughs> you just, you just on, anything. on my yeah. screen, you just look super wistful. There, no, there is definitely <laughs> ventriloquism going on. If yeah. you've not. You um, so yeah, them, that's that. That's me. I will. I will hand over. Hand over to someone else to to um, say something. Okay, I don't mind going next. And mine started with a New Year's resolution. Ooh. I wanted to lose three and a half stone uh, to be able to get my transplant. I guess. So the f that was the first quarter, and it was really hard to begin with because I'd been eating crap. Um, I'd just not been sticking to anything, and I'd been, um, you know, just letting myself go. So... Um, I relied on my partner, uh, Lindsay, to help me with that. Um, she was brilliant from the get-go. Uh, she was making sure I was sort of sticking to a routine, and a routine is what's helped me get through it, I think, really. Um, I managed to stick to it for most of the year and uh, hit my goal last month, which was good. Yeah, nice uh, one, man. Yeah, that, well is done. Huge, that is yeah. a huge congrats. That yeah. was my journey. I've uh, I certainly gone in the opposite direction in, in that <laughs> as I'm going out the way. I also feel bad as I sit here and eat Pringles while we talk about <laughs> weight loss. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's getting to Christmas, so... It is, it is. That time where we just ignore all the calorie counting and just go, yep, that's the thing I'll deal with next year. Yep. I mean, Hopefully there'll be a vaccine for them. Months, which is literally just a bowl of veg and a fake chicken burger with some sort of other veg. And that's all I've had for dinner for months and months and months. Jesus, well done. Um, I'm sick to death of it. Absolutely sick to death of it. But if it helps is it, me at all. Is it the, um, the corn spicy chicken burgers? It's the Aldi one. Is it is it similar to the, the the corn ones though? It is. It's similar to the corn ones. Oh my god! When I did the vegan thing for a month, that that was like the thing I ate. Was yeah. the, the, the the corn spicy chicken burgers? They were They're phenomenal. Really good. In fact, they were so good. I bit into one and went, "Oh, I fucked up." 
<laughs> I was like, oh, this is this is chicken. Real. Whoops, mm-hmm. this tastes good. Hang on, and no, like it was, it was amazing. I've eaten them since as well. So the first good. friend was vegetarian. He forgot and ate a sausage. <laughs> <laughs> we were all that he just forgot that he was vegetarian. Depending on how expensive the sausage was, it might not have had any meat in it. <laughs> it's ninety nine percent milk and <laughs> some gristle, horse meat. <laughs> there was a I, I used to have a friend who was uh, he was a vegetarian, and once a year he would try a bit of burger, and I would usually be with him when that happened, and he would he would start chewing it, he'd go oh, and it and I'd be like, what do you like that? And he's like, no, no, I've reminded myself why I don't eat this. <laughs> <laughs> So he would like remind himself once a year why he doesn't eat meat, and it was never. It was always a taste thing. Yeah. Oh, but then, then me. he got then he got hooked on on bacon, much like phonics, oh. um, and just like totally got into it. Just just the bacon mostly. Okay, this is your brain on bacon. Mentioning quote. <laughs> what was that, Oz? Quorn have pissed a lot of people off this month. What, what have they done? They released a statement saying. Uh, Oh yeah, yeah. To reduce food waste, it's okay if you eat meat. <laughs> All the vegetarians are going mad at it. Good. Guys, guys, choose choose a problem. Like I don't th- I, like. Quorn's mission is to provide a meat alternative. Yeah. Let's let's be honest. Uh, does that mean everyone that works for Quorn <laughs> is is a vegan or a vegetarian? Probably not. Um, are they concerned with food waste as a food company? Probably. Yeah. I, I can kind of get that. I can also you know kind of see the, 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 the frustration, I suppose, to a degree as well. So, I'm partly like fair play on them saying that when it's not like it's technically it could affect their bottom line. It's a company yeah. saying something, do something for the better instead of do something for our money. Uh, yeah. But they probably, the company that owns corn, probably got money in like a meat <laughs> company anyway. Yeah. yeah. And to be uh, honest, it was. T- local businesses as well because they were saying um, there's loads of local pubs and things that have ordered loads of food in mm. and now can't sell it to, to, to stop that going to waste maybe buy it from them or something yeah like that's 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 good ethical companying or rob them and then <laughs> rob them. you've not given them any money for it but you have stopped the food waste you have. You've solved 50% of the issue. You've not encouraged people to eat more meat. <laughs> but you've... <laughs> but what do you you've do encouraged... with meat after you've robbed it? Eat it. But that's the whole point. They're telling people to eat meat. That's what they're, that's what they're having a problem with, is being told to eat meat. No, they're having a problem with food waste. Well, no, corn is. <laughs> the best thing. Yeah, not the pup. The pup's I mean, not. technically, no. I suppose. You... Who, who's, who's up next? <laughs> oh well, I'll go with this. I'll go with this. So at the start of the year, I got these made. Hey, what? How have oh, I never no. seen that? I've never seen that lockdown for a year. Yeah. Apparently, I was round there playing games in February. Oh, I, <laughs> I didn't yeah, see I didn't it have then. it. I only got it like the other day. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, you made it then, but you got the mug. Wow, COVID has really affected production. Well, as my mate is, uh, it made him. He's like, uh, "You got any designs I can put on a mug?" And I was like, uh, "Sure, go with this." And then he had to. That's pretty it. cool. Are they all the same? Yeah. Well, I only got this Rainbow. one. It's only one. This is the only one. It's, it's a pr- the it's a prototype mug. I the thought mug. you said these. Uh, well, he did. He said he made more, but he's only given me one. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably because the others, when you put something in them, they just stuff came out the bottom. Or we franchised our merchandise now. Apparently. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Of. Yeah. So this Shit. this may be. Available. I don't know how we're supposed to do a surprise giveaway with only one thing. Well, just send like, them some other random stuff from your flat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the best thing I got too much. Here, have the uh, random v- VCR player. I see, oh, a Java, I see a Java book there, Colin. I don't know that you need it anymore. Oh, definitely not. Oh, he also made this, but I didn't really ask him about that one. But he made this one too. Is that me? What? Aww. That's nice. I like Holy that. Holy shit. I don't see that it's on gold. Is that? I think that might be Alexa's design, is it? 
Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, uh, oh man. Your one then. There you go. Mark That's awesome. These. So he's he's kind of given up in the in the game though, because apparently his vinyl and stuff isn't actually worth the profit. Ah, uh, you broke him. Oh, he's going to go in. Uh, he's <laughs> going to go down embroidery. Oh, nice. Okay. So you he, haven't he, bankrupt him by making him make a mug and a t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, he might he bankrupt did. himself because he's he's bought all this script because this is like apparently like proper resin and he's got like a color uh, chart thing because the print and the screen was obviously different, you know. Because he yeah, he's light. got like a like a Pantone chart and stuff. Yeah, What's he's got made? like a machine to like do it as well. 150 mm. of them, and he's gone bankrupt because he can't sell them because there's only six of us. <laughs> well, I didn't tell him to make 150. I only, I only get I mean, to make one, and then he, he like, typed oh. on the order form. Colin <laughs> is going to make use of all all those mugs, like no doubt. Uh, yeah, it saves me washing them. Yeah. <laughs> He just, he just, like <laughs> Thor, just drinks a mug of tea and smashes it on the ground, and it's like more. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 not that bad. Anyway, um, yeah, so. Uh, the, these could be available if anyone watches this and wants one. I potentially Holy can shit. get more made. And I would like one. Yeah, well, I, I sold. I technically <laughs> did ask for like five or something, but oh. he's misplaced still. And that's why he's bankrupt. <laughs> he's, he's not bankrupt. <laughs> Just the like he maybe <laughs> he maybe had to trade the mugs to someone he owed debt to, and like now he's got some. Elaborate scheme that he's going to have to go through to to get them back. Well, he's... what's the matter with you, kid? You told me this stream was popular. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Why, I oughta... <laughs> Well, speaking of deliveries, then uh, start of the year, I was playing Death Stranding. Oh fuck! Yeah. Jesus, that oh, is a way like, literally right. It feels it feels like forever ago. Well, it I was right it. at the start of the year. You were still playing um, it now. I'm not playing it now. Last year. Last year you were playing it through December too. Oh, yeah. I started playing it just before Christmas. It was like... It was probably right about now. Um, mm -hmm. And I I remember playing... on Well, not on Christmas, but around Christmas. And everyone had Santa hats on for like a couple of days. It was pretty good. <laughs> Except the baby. The little baby didn't have a Santa hat. Boo. Uh, but all the people the that you went to fluid meet, probably wouldn't be very good for it. <laughs> um, and yeah, I, I I got my money's worth out of that. I played it for a good number of hours. I think as well, good. we got good conversation out of it, Craig. Yeah. Yeah, we did. Because mm -hmm. I did enjoy speaking to you about the insanity. I, I'd go back to play that again. Like, I absolutely wouldn't mind playing that again. I've got it sitting on the shelf. Like I think it was, it was down to twelve pounds in Tesco because they were yeah, getting it rid of it. it yeah, and cheap. then all of a sudden it went back up to fifty quid, like the week later. Because nowhere could get it because it everyone sold it dead cheap. <laughs> Crazy. Um, it's it's definitely worth a play. I have a base PS4 though, so that'll be okay. Might, I never really it heard might take anything. off and, and just leave if I if I put that game in. I didn't hear anything about there being too many issues with it. Yeah. Oh, but it's, you would you would hear my PlayStation Four from where you are if I put in that game, <laughs> like the fan <laughs> okay. would be. Oof! Like I, yeah. I I I had to stop playing uh, long sessions of Detroit Become Human because my PlayStation Four was losing its mind. Oh, okay. Yeah, mine does that too. You stick a disc in it, and just goes. <laughs> like shop. Can I can't hear the title of <laughs> That's what subtitles are for. Yeah, <laughs> I don't have subtitles on. No, no, no. But it was cool as well because you streamed all of it. Yeah, like, and it yeah, was, I streamed it was, it was all an experience. I actually didn't stream just the story. I was going to say I streamed all the story, but no, I streamed the entirety. I streamed everything I played of it, and it was... Every time you switched it on, you put it live. It was hard going. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. Yeah, there was, there's some... Quite hilariously bad decisions I made in it. <laughs> <laughs> just like 
boot the baby across a border or something like that. Like, uh, kind of, like, like <laughs> mostly to do with this incline's not too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Followed <laughs> by sliding down and all my boxes go everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Or oh, flipping oh, a truck oh. into a, a river or things like that. Things that can, were like, oh. Can we also pay respect to your stream name for it, which was Deliveroo Standing? Yeah. <laughs> like, just. And also, I think, like, I, I, I don't know if you're going to talk about it or not because you were streaming last night, but your, your, your stream title for your Cyberpunk uh, streaming was good because it was, it was Cyberpunk 2077 Bug Hunt. <laughs> uh, they patched it today though so i don't know we'll have to see oh, later <laughs> we'll yeah. have to see if it still switches on yeah <laughs> yeah the dongs have moved up to the forehead <laughs> maybe <laughs> the, the dildos are now every just everywhere we didn't the, get the many characters are... playing it last night steve did we we didn't no that's true there was although some. we did within the first like 10 minutes there were three so yeah <laughs> <laughs> but you found three dildos there was like three different bugs. There was like a clothing oh. related one where you were wearing like a hood or something and it was just going like in front of the camera. It wasn't even a head time. thing. It was, it was, I was wearing like an, a bodysuit underneath my normal clothes. And so and I took that off and changed it for just a t shirt. The bug was like away. a few, there was a few AI, there was a couple of AI related ones with just yeah. pedestrians being shitty. And then there was a car one that like just drove into a wall or something like that. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Beautiful stuff. That seems uh, quite ambitious. All the the one of the I remember one of the things that they said in the top was like the public or something. We're all going to be completely independent from each other or something. Like that. that is super super lies. Yeah, because <laughs> they yeah. they are ninety five percent the same character saying go the same go thing. go to last go to last night's stream and <laughs> there's a bit where I'm outside a building and I'm at the top of the street and there's someone sitting on a bench. Yeah. And then I go down the street, and there's that same person walking up the street. <laughs> and I went back and I checked, and I was like, "You're still there, okay." What was the, what was the video I sent? And it was like the the really shitty render. Of... Oh it, no, it was and... the the guy going around the corner, and there was these two girls that were dressed the same came towards him, and then he kept going back and forth on the corner, and there was about eight of them at once. <laughs> oh, oh. Curse, curse oh no, what's Kirsty? Yeah, oh, we'll have to wait. For a bit. What was what was the phrase in the shitty rendered one where like all the pedestrians said the exact same thing all the time? Oh, I don't remember. But... Oh, it was like stay out of my way. Watch where you're going, huh? Watch... Something like that. <laughs> There's also the bit where like the guy pulls up in the invisible car and says, "Hello, Bromigo. <laughs> we should go and do a crime." And then he walks behind him, and his head just follows him right the way around. <laughs> it's it's not cyberpunk. It's just someone's depiction of cyberpunk. But to be fair, I believe it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna find this. No, I was. It's uh, not. It's not far. I sure the the claim was that about the it wasn't they going to have like separate dialogue or that. It was just that they all have individual names, or I, I oh, they tend to have. So Unique. the thing is, is that they have, from what I understand, like 19 different systems for the, you know, like everything has its own system. There's the traffic, there's the AI subroutines for the pedestrians. There's... They're all super like play school version systems. Yeah, but they really don't they bad. don't play well with each other at all. No, no. Well, that's it. Like good. cars just disappear. Yeah, uh, there is that really, really good one of just the roundabout with all the same silver car, the really low rendered yeah. silver car. Just spinning around in circles and disappearing <laughs> off the junctions. Is Hi. it working up Cyberpunk now while it's cheaper? Broken. Oh, it's yeah. not cheaper. It's 50 quid. No, yeah, it's not cheap. 35 at the moment. Well, I'd what? get it for 35 now, yeah. And on PC, I can't get it for that. Uh, um, but with all the bad press, they maybe have dropped the price a lot of places. Oh, I hope so. Yeah. I was looking at uh, Hot UK deals and they were advertising. Yeah. Um, but if you buy it now, you get the free upgrade to the Series X version when it comes out, right? Yes, you'll get, you'll you get that yeah. whenever. It doesn't matter. I'm just wondering if the Series X version is going to be 70 quid when it comes out. No, no, like, there's no Series X version. The Series oh. X version is the Xbox version. You'll just get the upgrade. 
Ah, cool. Okay. Yeah. I'll just wait then. Might be cheaper and dearer by then again. <laughs> I've still got Assassin's Creed to play through, so I'll just wait. Uh, I'll see. Are you are you now here, Kirsty? I'm here. I don't know hey. what the hell. I'm sleeping head first on the computer, but it just broke every so often until I just had to restart it. Do you want to so, go with what, what your uh, Q1 thing is? My Q1 thing? Um, so I had a little bit of a taste of lockdown before we were officially locked down. Uh, I got ill with a fever. Might have been Corona, mm -hmm. might have been virus, who knows? So I was stuck in the house for, can't remember if it was two weeks or one week. So my kind of coping was to get all the Persona games. Oh, um, nice. So I'd already started playing through Persona 5, so I worked my way through that and then found out that they had some dancing games. Oh, yes. And decided that I was going to try and platinum all of those in the two weeks <laughs> just to try and keep me sane. Nice. And I did, <laughs> which is sad, but uh, yeah, it just it helped to have something to be like, I am still contributing in some way to something. I am being conststructive, even if it was just like button mashing on a game. That'll do. That'll do. Are the and then I think, good? Yeah, I was like, it was. It was just kind of like that kind of old school kind of. DDR-ish type thing of like push your buttons, push buttons, you'll unlock different outfits and songs and the Persona soundtracks are banging anyway so it, it, like some of them were just remixes of the same song and some of them were like just totally new ones but yeah, kept me sane and then I think I got out of I was like out of my self-isolation for one day and then we went in a lockdown <laughs> the next oh. day <laughs> so I had one day of freedom and then it was like nah, get back in your house, chip chip like, oh no, I don't wanna. Shit. That so sucks. it was fun. That's... Yeah, that was unlucky. I think Did you do anything on... good on that one day though? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think I just went to the shops because I was like, I'm free! Uh... <laughs> Food! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was all right. I think. I think Colin and I listened to. It was the Persona Arena fighter game. <gasps> Soundtrack. Yeah. Oh yes, yes. On the way back up from Wolverhampton one year. Yeah. Yeah, because Colin got the special edition of the game that had the soundtrack with it. That's right. Yeah. Yep. So we, we listened to that. It was quite good. Was that in your uh, two o six? One o six. One o six. One o six. Yeah. See, that's that's even scarier. Oh. Well, that was. I, I, I'm. The one o six was not built for me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, I have my mate Greg in there. He's not built for it either. Not built for any car, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just—it was more the more we were like because uh, the, the whole point of it was that we, me and Colin, decided we would we would split the driving because it's it was like a six and a half hour drive, seven hour, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah, six. six and we were, yeah. we're having to leave like first at like one a.m. or something like that to make it. Yeah. Um. So, you did the first stint. Um, down into like past the border, yeah. and then I took over, and it was like the first time I'd ever driven the car, and it was like my knees are like underneath the steering wheel. <laughs> it's like, and also, oh, and it was I remember like having to build up speed to get onto the motorway, and just kind of being like, oh my god, right, let's do this. We've got four people in this car. Hope this works. <laughs> yeah, because we're coming out of a, a service station. Yeah. Oh man. One just past Carlisle, I think. Um, it was, yeah. Oh yeah. That was yeah. good. No, I loved that car. That, that was good. It was actually quite nippy for what it was. It was just a one point one. What was what was the death of it? Uh, <laughs> going after, down and up to Wolverhampton. <laughs> oh. Oh well, that and maybe breaking the rear uh, axle. But I got that fixed. The exhaust fell off it. I got that fixed. Yeah, I remember that. Well, I remember it. No, wait, was that. Did the exhaust not fall off of your other car as well? No, no, it was just that car, really. Just the, I remember the, that because that, that, when that, you that came actually. to pick up the bookshelves at my place, you were like, be careful with the exhaust because it's like. We tied it up with tape. <laughs> yeah, that didn't work. At mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember that. Um, no, I wouldn't. Exhausts are fucking heavy. Oh, I'm hot. <laughs> And very hot and hot it turns out yeah <laughs> yes. shockingly but no um that was uh, that was uh 
Craig was actually in the car when the when it originally fell off. Yeah. Uh, oh, wow. Uh, and so was uh, a couple of other on friends. the on the Kingsway. Well, we got pulled over on the Kingsway. It, yeah. it, it literally fell off just down the road from my flat before I was in this flat. It, it fell off at the lights. Just yeah. Just at the top of Full Park, Full Park Road. There you go, and tell him where I live. Was the car moving at this point, or did it just come yeah. to a standstill and the exhaust was just like, nah. <laughs> it's just no. like, I've had enough. It was, it was moving, it was actually, we were idle at the, the lights, and then I took off, yeah. and then it went clunk. And it, it wasn't the exhaust. It was like the 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 pipe it li linked between the, the the engine and the ex and the catalytic converter where it is at the end the silencer. So all all Not all fun. it was like because <laughs> there's no silencer on it anymore. F full on boy racer mode. Suppressor. Yeah. <laughs> Suppressor silencer. <laughs> it's so... a muffler. As mu as I said. think it's muffler. Yeah, I think it's muffler. Muffler is American, but I think that uh, probably does work for any. Car now, yeah. Anyway, uh, but you were so, saying silence. So do we do we go back round to the start then? Is it to uh, me now? Yeah, okay, to to me to you. Yeah, I was going to say I yeah. end up putting the 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 pipe in between people in the car. Ah, uh, that was fun. Don't <laughs> touch the don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. It's hot. And yeah, I was I like, okay, stop cars. going in the corner very quick then. And then you get pulled over by the cops. Is and they're a, like, you realize you've got better. Your Perfect. Nah, like really. Yeah, it's something do, like, do you know like, your car's uh, broken? It's like, you, you do you see? Do you see the back seat? <laughs> no, it wasn't even the back seat. It, was, it had to go literally lengthwise along the car, <laughs> like, like lengthways in the car, because there was four of us in the car at the time. And, and it's only a one hundred six, which is you know they're only about that compared to like cars. I can imagine you braking <laughs> like sharply and then like final destinationing something. <laughs> oh no! It was out the windscreen. <laughs> It would be accelerating oh, okay. really quickly because it would go out the back. Yeah. <laughs> so whichever poor person was following would get final destination. Yeah. Yep. Well, the call, call was uh, I like that we've made it into a verb. <laughs> 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 the cop was happy with it. It's was, it was like, oh, he, he you, was right, a noise. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah, my exhaust just fell off. When did that happen? Ten minutes ago. It's here. It's like, <laughs> it's like, allow me to show you. It's like, exhibit A, this big fucking bit of metal that's in between everyone in my car right now. Big metal peg. And he was like, alright, yeah, get that fixed in the morning then. So I went over to uh, QuickFit and they, they were going, oh, that's going to cost you lots of money. I was like, we're going to have to replace the whole thing. It's like, but it's not even broken. It's like, just a little you were bit. You like, money? <laughs> and then I drove out the It's like, I will find myself a less reputable mechanic who will fucking solder this back together. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, that's what I did. And <laughs> it lasted for years yep. before we had to tape it off again. Yep. <laughs> we had to tape it up again. <laughs> <laughs> and then that lasted long enough to get you home, kind of. Yeah, and then I oh. actually got to replace that um, ATS, I think. All right, th that's the story of my car. But no, the what actually Beautiful. happened to the car was uh, I decided to buy my brother's Skoda. And then my mm -hmm. brother sold mm -hmm. that car off to one of his mates, who drove cars like a fucking maniac. He he rode it off the road twice before it got written off. Wow! Before it got written off. Yeah, yeah. It, it went into a, um, a fence post the first time, so it okay. got a big dent inside of it. And then uh, he went off proper and ripped, ripped the car off within like. How did he? He's How like, did he go off the road but dent the side? Like yeah, what? Skillfully. <laughs> yeah, he hit the offence post. It stopped them. R2. It, this is up, like, in the, oh, right. up in the back quarters of, uh, of the north of Scotland. Yeah, he's like, I've watched Fast and Furious Tokyo Drift before. Let me show you how this is done. Yeah, yeah I just know. pull on the handbrake. That's fine. It'll make me do a dun, sharp turn. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Fuck. I've been, uh, <laughs> been a passenger field. seat in a van with him. Jeez, that was that was some red. <coughs> you're scared of my driving people. There's nothing on you're, this. You're driving, your driving does not bother me. I've been I'm in not cars scared of your driving. I'm scared of your attitude when you're driving. Oh yeah, that's that's fair. That's fair. Yeah, it's not the the driving itself is fine. Yeah, it's the it's driving. the fact it's like he doesn't stop shouting "fuck that guy." <laughs> <laughs> it's getting worse, Steve. 
the A90. The A90 is a fucking pain in the ass. Well, to be fair, the A90 is like basically it's like ah, how do you fancy like you know increasing your chances of death before fifty by ten percent? <laughs> It's like, well, have I got the cure for you? It's driving the A90 on a regular basis. I hate <laughs> the cure for old age. Yeah, <laughs> it's like we did it, guys. We cured it. It's, it's like, don't want to go out in a way that's of your own volition. Well, we can make it happen by accident. Uh, accident. <laughs> anyway, collision. Steve. Is it? Is it me then? Well, let's. Let's. Um, I think we. <clears throat> So that was be, but that was before the dark times. Now, so now. I'm kind of I'm into the dark times a bit in my yeah. yeah. Um, so <clears throat> I uh, I made the decision that I wanted. Um, well, at, like the previous, I think it was October time the year before when they announced Animal Crossing on the Switch, or like uh, maybe summertime. Yeah. And then um, I was I pre-ordered it, uh, and I was like, oh, I cannot wait to get it. And then they announced the special edition. Animal Crossing Switch, and I was like, I, I really want that. Um, mm. So I had a code for 20% off at the Nintendo store that had been given to me in a magazine for some reason, and also a bunch of credit, so I ended up getting it for a very reasonable price, and uh, then putting in probably about 40 hours in the last week of, of March all into uh, all into Animal Crossing, and it was awesome. Like, um, I think I probably put maybe about 80 hours in total into it now. Um, fell off a little harder than I, I would have liked, but it really helped with the doldrums. Yeah, yeah <laughs> and, that initial lockdown kick. Yeah, it, it was that thing of, because um, you don't know what you're in for yet. No. And it was quite strict at the time as well, because like, we were only leaving the house once a week to go shopping. That was our mm. our thing. And... <clears throat> it was just that sort of. Uh, in fact, I remember like um, leaving work the day that we 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 moved office on Valentine's Day this year into our new office, and then have left that office. Um, what date would that have been? Like, I think the nineteenth of March or something. Um, yeah, nineteenth of March mm. was the day where. I brought my laptop home, I brought my monitor home, I did shopping, and then I didn't go back to work, and still haven't. <laughs> so, it's it's weird, um, but yeah, having having that sort of, um, it, there's something just about Animal Crossing that's just so approachable and friendly and nice and, 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 and entertaining and silly, and it it's just it is literally just what the doctor ordered for that like for if if there's a pandemic uh the next one i hope there's a new animal crossing game that comes out at the same time <laughs> yeah well, i mean like like it kind of timed it well unfortunately for the whole thing i mean Everyone the sales for the, that thing has outsold zelda pokemon <laughs> mario yeah. like it's it is doing very well yeah um it's insane like in fact i just i bought a copy of it for alexa yeah just as there. well yep so yeah. she'll get to start whatever madness she wants now i uh probably not gonna build a graveyard island like i have but i the last time i played it was when you went around that maze <laughs> we've got a date for that it was a live stream yeah <laughs> <laughs> Um, I went. I went back for the Halloween stuff. Yeah, I didn't. I and I did oh, yeah. everything. Oh. Yep, I did everything. I got did all you? of the Halloween stuff. Yep. Oh, nice. Which was great. Um, Halloween stuff in games is always good. Yeah, I, I actually need to go and get the Christmas stuff as well before that disappears. Um, but yeah, like it, it was. I think it was the the right game at the right time, and it was just. It's such a rare pace of a game as well. Like there's so few that, that flow like it and exist like it. Yeah. So for, for something like that to come along at, at that time, it just was yeah, it was perfect. Well Animal Crossing was my quarter two thing as well. Oh no way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because it's it would literally just made everything go a bit easier. 
Um, I made a bunch of new friends through Animal Crossing as well. I joined an Animal Crossing group on Facebook. Wow. We started up a chat on Facebook Messenger. Um, and we just went over each other's islands and stuff and um, just traded stuff. And yep. Yeah, it was really good. Got heavy yeah. into the, the stock market. <laughs> we oh, did. Yeah. Yep. But we did we did do it with have it was stock market chat for a while, wasn't it? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. It was grim. Grim times. <laughs> yeah. like, What's the price of turnips in your game this morning? I need to know. Yeah, I, I remember being just turnips and bells and I was like, I don't know what you are talking about, people. Why? I, 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 I must I must say this, Craig. I think you would love Animal Crossing. Ah, uh, nah. I don't if you played that. it on mute, I remember you said you hated the noises. I really did hate the noises, yeah. It was but terrible. I think if you... No, it was just the walking about. Just the Crunching. sound of the ground, the crunchy grass. The, the crisp mm, basket sound. I didn't, I didn't like it, it was crisps. It's yeah. okay, because later on, you can replace it all with concrete. <laughs> ah, see, that's good. I want to get a, a deserted island inhabited by lots of animals and just pave over it. That's yeah. the way to do it. It's like, I've made a car park. Like that song. That's the British it. way. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, that was me. I fell off the game because I had a sign up on my island. No monkeys allowed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I just fell off there. I stopped playing, really. Because uh, one of their uh, settlers is a monkey. Yeah, they make me feel sick, honestly. That's ugly. Uh, what was his name? You you kept moaning about him. It was great. You don't, you don't get him chipped off by, like, complaining to Isabel or something. He wouldn't leave. He's squatter. (laughs) Squatter. I think if it's like if it was the last villager that came in, you can't make them leave. Because I had one for a while that was like, whenever he would come over and talk to me, he's like, "Yeah, I stood outside your house, tapping the door, but no, you wouldn't let me in or something like that." And I was like, "Oh, oh, what?" (laughs) It was just like every conversation was creepy, and I remember like blocking up outside his house and putting pitfall traps and hoping he would leave. (laughs) He was adamant he would not go. Damn. Oh Jesus! So just so I'm clear though, we're su- we're supposed to still be in quarter one, right? No. no. Quarter no. Two. Oh, oh, so why wait? Time. I thought we were doing three from each. Yeah, but that was too much hard work. Oh, <laughs> well. I mean, Animal Crossing Animal was mostly in quarter two, to be honest. Two, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. The other things I had for like Q2 was uh, Tower of God, the anime. Oh yeah, yeah, I still have not watched that, Steve. <laughs> it's it. really good. And then um, a lot of stuff over Zoom. Like Zoom became really important in Q2 for me. Mm-hmm. Um, so like uh, my family and I would do a quiz on a Wednesday night, which was good. And then like the Thursday night catch ups with you guys over Zoom or or wherever were just yeah, like that was yeah yeah became yeah. necessary. Um, after a while, like, because I think it's it. I, I must admit, like, I've, I've, uh, I'm used to it now, like yeah. the way things are. But I think the way it started, it was more difficult. Yeah. Like well, to go a week without a, like seeing a phone call with another person or something like that. It just became, it, it became quite hard. But then. I think it's it's become easier with time, which is a good thing and not a good thing. But yeah. essentially, what everything is, you know, it was scary because like when it first happened, it was like, oh, uh, you need to all just like live in your house now for the foreseeable future, and it's just like a rips you out your current uh, life cycle. If I, if I didn't have kids, I feel like. Um, I would have handled this a lot better. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? Oh, I, would have, I would have gone start crazy mad. And... Well, it's interesting. So, like, one, and I, I won't belabor this point too much, but the, like, I, I have a conversation quite a lot at work, and it's that thing of like, um, everyone's individual circumstance, like, because it's obviously it's very different for every person, mm. like, and uh, you know, everyone has trials and tribulations and difficulties around their situation. Because they're it's complicated for everyone, and the complication for me is 
I have no free time. Like, and and I, I don't mean that I don't have any free time because I'm obviously I'm having time to make this call. Mm-hmm. But the point is that could end at any second. And there has there has never been a moment where anything I want to do could end at any like it's it, it has always been on a on a knife's edge for the last nine months. Everything I've ever done could end whenever it ha- whenever uh, there was need for me not to be doing what I'm doing right now. Mm. Um, and, and interestingly, that could still be the case, I guess, like when kids are at school and nursery and whatever. Of the 16 days I have off this this holiday period, Tuesday between half nine and half four, I am on my own. Like... The kids are in school and at nursery. I'm done. Like I can just <laughs> no, I can just exist for the first time in nine months, yeah. and I am relishing it because actually Thursday the nineteenth of March was a day that <laughs> I had booked off. Oh, the... <laughs> I had booked. I had booked it off uh, the month before so that we could go to the cinema, have lunch. And just have a day off. And then it got cancelled. Because holy shit. I think we're going to have to not be in the office anymore. And I'm yeah. I need to I need to move everything I have home. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. It's it's uh, it's it's weird. Like. And on the, on the counter side to that. There's the. There's people who don't have people. Because you, you get. You get sick of the people you live with. <laughs> Sometimes <laughs> that happens. But then, on the contrary to that, there's there's people who like have all the freedom they want, but also not the socialization they want whenever they really need it. So like, um, it it it's weird because yeah. I feel like everyone is is not disadvantaged in the same way, but probably disadvantaged in equal. some way. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there's a there's a there's an equal disadvantagement to a degree. So it's, it's weird. Well, my uh, I mean, for example, me and Craig are essentially living on our own uh, uh, it was kind of different but not different I literally didn't seem to be doing much different than what I would normally do just maybe not see you guys on a regular appearance on a Tuesday and all that Well, I think it's the, it, it's the difference I always thought it was the you know like um, when I've told I'm sure I've told you this like a million times is like mm-hmm. I could have, like, before I had kids, I could get up at 6 a.m., no problem. Yeah. My alarm would be set, I'd be up and I'd go. If I'm woken up at 6, it's different. Because <laughs> it's not because I want to be up. Yeah. Yeah. And you find yourself in a situation where, like you say, is like, you know, it doesn't really change. But ultimately, if you want to do something, you can't do it. And all of a sudden, not being able to do something is incredibly frustrating. Because like you had that freedom, to, like you maybe didn't do it, but you had the freedom to do it. Yeah. And all of a sudden, the freedom to do it is removed. Yeah. Yeah, I'm. I'm. A fairly yeah. bad one for not doing an awful lot on like a day off or whatever. Yeah. Um, but then not having the option of like even going out and just going to the shops and like just killing a bit of time, like going and doing something, popping in and go see a film or anything like that, and it was like. Okay, like I would just like well, I worked in the town and Colin's place was on the way home, so I would occasionally just pop in and be like, "Hey, mate, how are you doing?" Yeah. On 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 a random day, if it, I've had a bad day or he's had a bad day or if we're just cooking some plans up for something else, yeah, uh, you know, it's it's one of those things you would you sometimes just. You would have that option of just popping in and seeing someone and saying hello. Um, yeah, I mean, it would maybe only be like half an hour sometimes, yeah. but then being removed from even just generally sort of popping into one of the shops in the town and seeing, oh, is that new thing out or any special offers in this place? Just getting a different variety of sometimes shopping for your dinner and stuff. Like, yeah. I've been to the same two or three shops for the past nine months. Now, they don't really have that much of a selection of different things that you can be like, no. 
I'm I'm kind of bored of the same old stuff now. Eh? There's only so many times stuff. you can look at the same reduction on the same item. Yeah. Every week, and it's funny because like, there's a desire to look at stuff and to see change. Like you know, like when you like, I would be going. I, my routine was exactly the same for weeks. It was it's Friday night. The kids are in bed. It is now time for you to go to Tesco and make sure that they're shopping for the week. Yeah. And that was my, that was my routine. So I'd go in and what do you do when you're in Tesco is you look at the media, you look at stuff like that just before you have a, a proper wander about and pick up the stuff you're actually supposed to be in there to get. But yeah, there was never any change. You were never no. progressed. There was never progress in it. And it, I don't know if that was because of the frequency with which I was in there. I actually think it was more to do with the pace that life took. Like all of a sudden, everything just slowed down. It did. Like there weren't there weren't deals. There weren't this. It was more of a case of like, is Tesco open today? <laughs> yeah. Are people working? Yes, yes, they are. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, well, is any are any of the counters open? None of the counters are open, and maybe some of the shelves are stacked. Are there any bacterial wipes? No, there are not. Is there toilet roll? Sort of, I guess. Like, like life got weird. <laughs> yeah. Well, the whole toilet roll shortage. That's like I never understood oh. that one. Yeah, that was. Well, I, mean, I remember being in the shops and. I didn't, I'd already had, I'd had like a stack of Andrex because I'd bought like a 24 pack or something like that. So I was still like, had plenty, didn't need to buy any. But there was this poor woman in the shop who was picking up kitchen roll and then saying to our kid, who was maybe about seven, I mean like, I know it's not, it's not blue roll, but it'll have to do for now. Like, what kind of world is this that you can't even go to the shops and pick up some toilet roll when you for your people... kids and have to explain them and be like, this is it. It's like the weirdest and, uh, thing. Good to get them used to that. <laughs> but the thing is, is it was more than just that as well because it evolved. Because as people got used to the idea of being at home, bacterial wipes, toilet paper, cleaning supplies, they all freed up again. Yeah. But then the next things to go, art supplies, flour, baking soda, mm -hmm. like yeah. stuff oh, to occupy your time. because everybody decided they would start baking, yep. yeah. yeah. Shit disappeared. Like you could not get stuff. Do you guys remember the, the fuel strikes that happened back in the early 2000s? Yeah, sort of. That That's the kind of thing that went short on there, because they went, Oh shit, need to buy like a baking flour so we can bake loaves and shit, and all this stuff. And there was shortages at that point, because everyone's mass buying all this fucking flour. To Not to bring loaves. things screaming to reality too much, but you know, now that the government have made their changes, what do you think the next couple of days look like in the town? Or in the shops? It's going to be a fucking riot for the yeah. next oh, few days. Oh, there's already people fighting in Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> Little had a, a fight. Pretty much par for more. the course in Glasgow, no yeah. it's <laughs> gonna, like It's going to be mental. So now, I think Tesco are back open to 24 hours. Oh, but, um, okay. If they I are, don't think the one by me is, though. No, no. it's not. But the, the big one is. And if the big one is... What I'll be doing is, is I'll be waiting till 3 a.m. on Monday morning, going to get my shopping, and, hopefully and then something. not returning to the shops until the new year. <laughs> yeah, I need to go get Good shopping. Fuck I, that. I need to. My uh, my oven broke this week. Hey, no join the club. <clears throat> yeah. What what yeah. happened? My 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 brother's oven broke too. Go ahead. Uh, I think I left. I accidentally left it on for too long. Oh. I forgot to switch off and I took the thing out, and then. Yeah, that's not good. And then it was on, and so I turned it off, and then I tried to turn it on the next day to, or a couple of days later, to cook a pizza. I was like, hmm, that's not heating up. Fan's not going in it either. Oh, fuck, I need to buy a new element. <laughs> so it's fine, it should be fixable, hopefully. It'll be fine! Didn't you put a new filament in your oven? Yeah, I put a new element in it um, a year or a year and a half ago. Oh, so ah, it's well, not even that run. long and, and you broke it already. Oh yeah, I left it on for four hours. Because I left it and walked into the living room. And then I returned to the kitchen so I was going to bed. And I was like, <laughs> like is that so, so what funny? you did was, you you poured a cup of tea and then you went back to get it and you realised you'd left oven on. Some of that, yeah. <laughs> did I ever, in fact, Craig, you might have been there for this. I don't know if I ever told the rest of you the story about... I may have been enjoying myself and indulging in some stuff while playing Grand Theft Auto 4 one night. Um... 
and uh <laughs> i was like man i'm fucking hungry <laughs> and uh i was like ah oh, i need to what have i got it's like oh turkey dinosaurs let's oh. do this straight out like the whole bag just emptied onto an oven tray yeah into the oven next thing i remember it's like one in the afternoon the day after <laughs> and i'm like man i'm so hungry and then it's like oh god <laughs> <laughs> i realized it's like wait it's okay the missus is not the, the place is not burnt to the ground and the missus has obviously gone to work none the wiser and i open <laughs> open the oven and there's just these turkey dinosaurs <laughs> it's like okay it's like these were cooked what happened very fortunately it turns out that if you set a timer after a certain amount of beeps it just turns it just the oven off. off. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. Otherwise, yeah. that place would have been billowing black smoke. <laughs> so they weren't even fossilized dinosaurs. No. Well, they weren't. They, they were overcooked. I fucked up anyway. So. <laughs> it's a good thing you set a timer. That only reminds me. Always of, uh, set a timer. Heavy rain. Oh. I, we, were, we, we, we were discussing this not that long ago. I'm sure. Uh, we were playing horde. Yeah, we were talking about that. Yeah, your your experience of trying to make a microwave meal for a child and then breaking the game. Yeah, I broke that game. I couldn't get the pizza out of the oven. Or whatever it was that it was meant to be in. It was in the microwave. <laughs> yeah, you turned the oven on, but then put it in the microwave. And then it broke. And it wouldn't let yeah. me take and it out. <laughs> and cook it was like 4am and this kid's still watching TV. <laughs> it was so good. <laughs> I was like... Uh, I think I broke it. <laughs> and that's my experience of heavy, heavy rain. That was on the PS3 too. Anyway, uh, okay, we good. should probably uh, move on. We have digressed a bit. Uh, so Animal Crossing was what we discussed there. Yeah. Animal Crossing. Uh, you got something to say, Alice? Since it was you last time. Um, I said Animal Crossing. Oz was Animal Crossing with Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I got another one though. Ooh. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Ooh. Oh, wow. uh, we started up my, a D and D campaign again um, in quarter three, playing it online. Um, and we've been doing that every Tuesday since. Are you uh, still on it now? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's some good going. Yeah. Um, oh. Yeah, it's been it's been good fun. It's been the break away from reality, which is nice. Yeah, that's kind of what you need from this situation. That's why Animal Crossing kind of worked, I think. Mm-hmm. You got some organization yeah. in your life, getting those turnips. <laughs> uh, uh, talking about D and D, we used to D and D, and then I was like, uh, I can't be fucked with that anymore. Yeah, pretty much, because there wasn't enough smashing for you. You wanted no. something with more violence. I just, I don't, I don't get, I don't, I'm not a D and D man, to be honest. I just want <laughs> something to happen. I don't really care about the story and the plot and what, why are you doing it? Just, just go and do it. Just go and punch something. Hence why, yeah. why you like Doom. Game. Yeah, that's why <laughs> I like Doom and most arcade games. Um, but that's like the um, main reason why I always seem to uh, pick a brawler type character in D and D. Yeah. So like my my first character in the campaign we had was a barbarian midget, not midget. Halfling. <laughs> Halfling. This time I've got an evil paladin which is really fun to play. Ah. An evil paladin. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I thought I, I wasn't sure if you said evil or emo. That's the same thing, thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One's just a little more emotional about it. Yeah. Just sings the back parade on repeat. Is that G note? Just that's all it takes. I just, I <laughs> so, I hate that album so much. <laughs> no. That's, well, that's it was such, evil. it was such a step away from Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge, which was fucking awesome. Yeah, but they're both awesome, and they were. No, I don't know. It was just, it's like, have you ever heard? It's like, it's like, what if punk was like Queen? 
<laughs> it's like, it doesn't need to be. It's the same as Muse. What if we just were Queen? No, stop it. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't listened to you for 17 years for a fucking reason. Get it in your head. <laughs> stop being Queen. Although, to be fair, Dead was a really good song on that album. And I think that was that was the one after, like, I think it was after the Black Parade, actually. That might have been the lead-in song. It was really good. Oh, I can't remember the exact track title, but yeah. It was Dead and Mama. Mama was a good fun. Mama was good. Yeah. I'm going to end up singing them if you keep talking. <laughs> to, to be fair, actually, I think my, di my derision of the album is mostly the songs The Black Parade and Teenagers. <gasps> you don't like Teenagers? Oh, come on. No, I mean, I, mean, I don't like Teenagers, no. but I also don't like the song. Yeah. So. <laughs> Not Teenagers. <laughs> Sorry? Wait till you've got teenagers. Oh, uh, I mean, right. well, then he really won't like them. <laughs> then, I, then I've, I will, I'll, I'll hate them very much. <laughs> like this is what Gerard Way was singing about ten years ago. <laughs> this is why he wrote comic books in his thirties. <laughs> uh, anyway, um, I suppose what be me next because that's, that's the order it went last time. Shoot, mm -hmm. so I was technically playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. Oh yeah! Oh, that was was that that long ago? Yeah, it came out in... Bloody hell. What, just before lockdown, I think it, it initially got released. Yeah, it was, just in, it was in February yeah, this year yeah. or something like that. Was it February? Yeah, I had it in my head that was last year. Oh god. <laughs> oh, that was this year? <laughs> Sorry James, that was this yeah. year. Yeah, that was this year too. Oh no. Sorry Couch Show. That was uh, a great. Oh shit! It was March, March this year, March second. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. It came, Cause it got delayed. <clears throat> That's Actually, right. It, did get delayed. it was supposed uh, to come out in January. Yeah. Anyway, it was it was kind of cool. I was I liked it. It's a bit long, driven out though. Filler. Um, they they seem to filled it up with a lot of stuff, like random stuff that literally didn't happen in the last one, but it all ties in with the game. Yeah, the storytelling of it because it's not an exact retelling of Final Fantasy VII. It's the it's the Back to the Future two of Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, yeah. When they go I back know. to nineteen eighty six, nineteen eighty six, nineteen fifty five. No, no. What was the Back to the Future? Cause they they went back and they won the thing, and then they went back to the original time. And went, oh shit, this isn't right. Our time. Yeah. Was that 1986? 1984? Uh, oh, sorry. 85? 85? Oh, well. What was 1985? Uh, back to back the Future. To the future? Uh, two. Uh, when they go back into the future. Do you know how they go to the future? <laughs> he, gets, he gets the book. And then he goes back he to the past. back in future in some order and it will probably work out. <laughs> and then they go back to the future. And then they go back to the past. Uh... It's like Gears 2. Shit. 89 for part 2. No, but oh. when was it set, though? Oh, uh, 2015? Uh, <laughs> not, the, not the future. No, but with the present day of it, when was... Because it was only just after the first movie, so it was in uh, war. It was, a, it was uh, 25 BC. 25 BC. <laughs> well, yeah, before COVID. I get that. I hate that, that movie's so more than 25 Jesus. years old. Why do you laugh so much? It, it works. No, it just makes me sad that we had need to have it. <laughs> I, I, I was amused by it. It was like the, the episode of South Park where um, all the kids get their parents sent away for being pedophiles when they're not. <laughs> and uh, they like like a year in, like a month into it. They're all like, oh, yes, in the before time, in the long, long ago. Because <laughs> they've got no adults to supervise them. It's essentially what it is like. A lot of the and we don't really have adults supervising us, so to be fair, it's almost the same we, thing. We should be adults. They might also be ourselves. pedophiles, allegedly. Oh. <laughs> what? I said allegedly, it's all right. Who's allegedly? I don't know. Who's not I can see Twitch just being like, no. <laughs> we do have someone watching us at this pre right, right, present right now. It's me. Uh, no, we've got someone else. We've got uh, some guy called Feet. Who's hey, more Feet. likely a bot. 
Um, hey, Bob. Are we? <laughs> Viewers, feet. Oh, yeah, cool. Feet. If he starts asking for toe picks, then... <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. We'll really see how are. much he's built. Show people. me your feet on stream. Hey, in which case... Yeah. Anyway. If he's paying, he can see my feet. He's going to be disappointed. <laughs> if he's paying, he can buy one of these... Uh, one of these exclusive... Uh, <laughs> uh, months. Excellent. Excellent sales pitch, Colin. I like it. Uh, I would have laughed so much more if you'd picked that up by your foot. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, my feet aren't that. Uh, you can't hold a cup. Otherwise, uh, well, they wouldn't be any good for anything else then either. <laughs> <laughs> no one needs those topics. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Um, so yeah, it's kind of like the Back to the Future of Final Fantasy, and then Back to the uh, Gears Two is also like a Back to the Future of <clears> thing. <throat> I know it's gears too. Not because they go in time. It's just because they go up to the surface, go down to the bottom, go back up to the surface, go back down to the bottom. They just up and down all the time. And oh, it's the grand old Duke of York of of uh, gears. Of gears, yeah, yeah. That's the gears two is the one where he says, "There's blood in my mouth, and it's not even mine." Yeah, yeah, that's weird. It's a good line. After they got out of the worm, the giant worm, <laughs> worm. Yeah. Gears 2 is so much fun. <laughs> it was alright. It's a real good game. It's a it real was definitely game. not not fun. Oh, as if you are not play, if you're not playing through uh, Gears, you need to, man. Really? Uh just it's like it's so brotacular in the greatest way. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Technically, is new DLC out yeah, for five. Oh, uh, Hive Busters. Yeah, yeah I haven't played it yet. Get the story they, they of the Hive. The Hive Busters. Anyway, um... Who are you gonna call? Craig. It's you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Um... I had a thing, but we digressed and I've forgotten what it was now. Yeah, there's a good, good part of digression there. Oh, Jesus. Don't want me to do my Q2 one and then give you yeah, the thing. Yeah, you jump in. Oh, I mean, uh, it's just it's just finding it, but yeah. I mean, um, if you if you just want to. Find no, it, no, I, I I don't trust my time. Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> um. So my Q2 was Cluedo, which sounds a bit weird. Oh yeah. But, but used to be a oh, huge fan of the board game Cluedo. Mm -hmm. Absolutely adored it. Played it to death. Got banned <clears> from playing Cluedo by the family because I liked it that much and it was pretty good. <laughs> so yeah, couldn't play it. To me, with Monopoly. Um, so uh, during lockdown, I had been away from my family for quite a while. Um, I think the two weeks that I had self-isolated before the lockdown, I was planning to go down to Glasgow and then didn't get to go. And then we were all locked down for however many months it was before I actually managed to get back down again. So during that time, it was I found it quite difficult. Um, and my mum, who was featured here as she's walking by, um, she really helped me throughout lockdown and we had video calls that would last for like hours and hours and it was sometimes just her doing the ironing so she managed to get a nintendo switch and we would sit for like hours on end just playing cluedo and it seemed like the most basic ass thing but it just it made me feel less kind of alone and sad yeah. and it was just I'm going to figure out who did the murder thing and then get shouted at for figuring it out before mum could figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> it made things seem more normal than they were. <laughs> but, See, yeah. things haven't changed that much. I'm still I'm still being annoyed. People are annoyed that I win at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Although, she now knows more of my tricks, so I've made a rod for my own back now, so hey-ho. Is it yeah. good on Switch? I quite liked it. It's quite... Uh, I'm trying to think of what price it was, because it was on... It was on sale, and you can get like additional boards and stuff like that. Um, so if you can get your basic boring board, which is fine, and it works, and 
basically it's just like I think it adds extra music and just acts uh, extra um, graphics and things like that. So yeah. if you can get it on sale, it's great. If because I think it's something ridiculous, like twenty four pounds they want to charge for it for a DLC, <laughs> which is no. Are we um, Ubisoft? What one's it? It probably will be Ubisoft. Oh, I'm unsure. Because it's Ubisoft Uno. that own uh, Uno, right? Yeah, yeah Jill's yeah. it. Uno's so um, good. There. Uh, it, so that that quite helped as well because like the music on it is is pretty decent. The soundtrack's pretty decent, even <laughs> though it loops after about like two minutes or so. But yeah, it just. It, it was just a little bit of distraction normality and quite crappy times. Was well, that nostalgia, yeah. right? Like it's the mix of like yeah. it's the well, it brings it nostalgia is the big thing. Like I've found that as well. Like I I'll, I'll watch things that I watched the year before or played the year before. Um yeah. and it helps. So there's the there's the thing that's I've never played Cluedo. Oh, like not once. Really? No. Not once, but uh, my next question then is: Have you ever watched the movie Clue? Yes, it's one of my favorite movies. It is so <laughs> fucking good. Yeah, like that's, that's, it is so good. Is that, is that, does that end with like reading the Butler or something stupid? It yeah. ends in five different ways, and it Absolutely. depends on which yeah, yeah. cinema you went to, Colin. That's how yeah, good it is. That's oh, how good was, um... It is glorious. It's Tim Curry. It's um, oh. it's uh, Martin Mull. It's Madeline Kahn. Um, it's what do you call him from Back to the Future? For some reason, I'm like Christopher Lloyd from Back to the Future. Like yeah, it's just it's that way. so good. Oh. Tim Curry is magnificent in it. That sounds really good. I yeah. might give it a watch. Oh, like <gasps> so good. I the scene of him good. trying to explain the murder. <laughs> of like when he's like trailing up the stairs and he's like dragging people up after dragging it's just... Messi's way up and then yeah, just, he's like, he's just like that. oh my god it's so yeah. stupid and great and amazing it is it's absolutely worth your time if you haven't seen it I can imagine yeah. Tim Curry doing that he's a pretty descriptive person um just... what I was going to say about Cluedo so they not like change the rules up on the board game like they did with um... Mousetrap Wait, what? <laughs> what do you mean, change the rules? Well, I mean, it's still like, find the murderer, find the weapon, find the room. Yeah, I thought they made some slight changes to the rules from, like, back in the day. I could be um... wrong. I thought they, I thought I think... they played slightly different. One of the main things, like, from the board game to the Switch game, at least, because... I think it's like when you are making your accusation, your final chance to win. So I think you need to run, you need to get to the basement or the cellar or whatever in the board game version, but in the Switch version, it's just as soon as you know and it's your turn, oh, you can just okay. fucking hit the accuse siren. Yeah, and it makes a big <laughs> noise. And usually that's when you hear my mum going, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 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 Man. No, because it always so, used to be you'd have to get to the main room or whatever to accuse. Yeah, it used yeah, to be you yeah, to... you had to get somewhere before you can do it, but now it's just you had to do the room that you think you. it was in. Yeah. Actually. So what about Colin? What about Mousetrap? How did they change the rules there? Oh, I can't remember. The, oh yeah, you don't make up the contraption. It's pre-made. But... Oh well, that's that's how I used to play it because. <laughs> Because you wanted that, to play it the boring way. House rules becoming real rules. Yeah, because yeah. that's literally, I never played it of the, oh, you land on the bit, add a bit to the machine. It's like, no, get to the thing so someone can get to the end and die. This is going to be great. Let's <laughs> get caught in a net. But anyway, um, yeah, yeah, they get I, caught in a net and then live happily ever after. That's what happens to my thing trapped. Trap. <laughs> uh, all, all I, all I say is, uh, I am... Um, I, I used to play the board mode because it was kind of cool just building it up and putting things together and making sure you don't knock the ball out of the bucket because that always fucking happens. <laughs> it's so fucking sensitive. Um, I, I... But, uh, yeah, no, um, I used to just, like, got the seesaw with the man and jumped into the bucket. You know how yeah. they had the green guy jump in the bucket? Just, like, always oh, just smack <clears throat> the seesaw, just make him set of flying high. <laughs> didn't really care about the board game. It was like, yeah, I'm just going to smack this and see how far you can go. <laughs> well, I, 
because there was a game there was a game that was sort of similar to it and it was called grape escape i don't know if you've heard of that before <laughs> that was right. amazing grape Aww. escape is and, and oz can attest to this is a legendary game because you had a mold where you would use purple play-doh to make your players right uh-huh and then you had to take this play-doh grape anthropomorphized grape through a maze and it was like scissors and fucking stompers and stuff like that and they would just get crushed and cut to bits before oh, it was so much fun i have so never heard fun. of this they should do yeah. that but like market it as ribena berries no i might have actually don't. been sponsored by ribena to be fair don't, don't go there don't go there now i just remember that skit i already oh, thought of that you. and i moved past it but Grape, grape that, Escape was a lot How is that anything to do with Ibina? It's just blackberry grapes. The grapes. I know. No, we're, we're not going. doing that. I know. We're not going. doing that one. Is Kirsty is Kirsty is unaware of the grapes? I am unaware. Oh my god. <laughs> oh well, you've got some homework. <laughs> Oh, great. I, I, I really want to put that into my Google it is, search. It is, it is both one of the funniest and ter most terrible things ever to be created. Oh, was it? What, who, it's, who's the, who did it? It's the whitest kids, you know. Yeah, that's it. The and the whole, the whole concept is the guy is, like, doing an advert for grape soda. And <laughs> they choose the catchphrase, I'm going to grape you in the mouth. <laughs> And the guy's like, we cannot do that. It's like you can't. He goes, why? And he's like, because it sort of sounds like you're gonna, gonna what? He's like, you're gonna rape. I'm gonna rape you. What? And he's like, no, 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 no. He's like, yeah. And it's like not that. It's like no. Get your mind out of the gutter. This is just about grape soda. And then he's like, I'm gonna tie you to, like, I'm gonna handcuff you to a radiator and grape you. It's just the worst fucking thing. It is. It's, it gets, it's it so worse terrible. Than it does. It gets ah, so much worse. It, and it, but it's so funny, like in the in the most terrible way. But the whitest kids, you know, their stuff's actually pretty good. To be fair, it's good. Uh, but also, they did the Abraham terrible. Lincoln sketch as well. They did the Abraham Lincoln one where, like, why he got shot, and it's because he was being a dick to someone. <laughs> it's a rap about getting stoned with dinosaurs. It may have been. <laughs> Sounds like something they might have done. <laughs> Made yeah. a song about it, or they did. They did the sketch about um, like the guy who just had his balls hanging out of shorts all the time as well. Like just, ah, it's, yeah, 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 I remember that. Their one. stuff's really dumb. <laughs> too. Very funny. Well, Doral. it's it's yeah. They, they kind of did that yeah. where the guy is always like vinyl or just. Slightly the wrong way in a nature program with his corgi shorts, and he just saw like part of the ball sack. Like, they also did. They also did the the Call of Duty one where it was like the guy who wasn't really playing, and he's like looking around in the sky, and he's it's just like, "Are you there? We're gonna we're gonna storm them now." And he's like, "What, mom? No, I don't want a sandwich." <laughs> and they start yelling at each other. <laughs> and it's just this player who's like running around in circles looking at the sky <laughs> well they're like this is ridiculous <laughs> oh god why is yeah. it kids you know is just it's an easy recommendation you should watch it and, and they're yeah some of the skits are just horrible for example the groupies anyway uh right craig i i remember my thing <laughs> so after i was playing um death stranding mm -hmm. i moved on to playing overwatch he did, yeah. Oh, he did. Because I wanted to get loads of stuff in it so that I could play in Overwatch 2. <laughs> like, I only bought the game so I could play Overwatch 2. <laughs> because how, Overwatch how, 2 has PvE. <laughs> well, I no. don't know if they've cancelled it yet or not. <laughs> they probably will. Um... But I actually got, like, I, I, I didn't want to play Overwatch because I thought it was just PvP. And there was actually an event when I started playing that was PvE. And then it turned out there is actually a bit of PvE stuff that you can do in it. And, like, co-op stuff. And it, it, I enjoyed it. And then I started playing the 
the multiplayer, the versus modes, and I got really quite into it. I played it for a couple months, um, and was pretty hardcore on. I got to get this levels to get the loot box when I get a level, and and trying to get all the stuff unlocked. Um, and I I didn't get loads of stuff, but I got a lot of stuff that I wanted to get unlocked. Nice. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I never really played Overwatch. I was, I wasn't, it's not my scene. I got it's, it. Yeah, it's very enjoyable as a, a FPS. I think like, as as they go, it's not. Despite some of what I do play, it's not like my preferred genre. And I was really, I was still like every time I think about the game, I'm still disappointed that. It is just that. That's all it is that they've done with this world and these create these awesome character designs that they've created. Because um, oh. it's really good. Like I like a lot of the world building stuff. I like a lot of the the character stuff that they've done, and I love so many of the designs are really good. But oh. then to just have it as a FPS, it should be a really awesome anime series or something, you know. Uh. Um, like, I'm sure fanfic.net has you covered for any other lower building needs that you want. <laughs> Rule 34. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, uh, I mean, Blizzard is pretty good at that. I mean, look at the, the, a lot of the Starcraft and the comics the and the other things, the little animated shorts that they did for the characters, really cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah the, what the production they're... value in their stuff is very high. Mm. The War Warcraft stuff uh, has always been kind of top-notch trailers that they always done. Yeah. Trying to expand the universe. They also did Lost Vikings. Uh, on they the did. Yeah. I mean, you know, 30 years ago, they definitely did that. Yeah, Lost Vikings too. 25 maybe. years ago. Did they not do rock and roll racing as well? Oh, maybe. They might have done it, actually, yeah. I don't know. I only remember Lost Vikings because it was in War of the Warcraft. You met you met the Lost Vikings in a dungeon. Oh. I was like, at least you met the the speedy one, I think, and he can run really fast. You pick up his shoes, increase your <laughs> movement, or get you, you kill him. Um, no, he's kind. Of, I think he's dead already. I can't remember. Oh, pick up better. winged sandals of Hermes. <laughs> Some of that, yeah. Anyway, I, the, but, yeah. the winged sandals of Hermes allow you to not deliver things to people properly. <laughs> yeah, uh, my my Hermes driver is cool. We're, we're good. <clears throat> He's not tall, is he? <laughs> I'm having D and D flashbacks. Yeah, D and D yes. flashbacks here, Colin. <laughs> How tall is he? <laughs> His average human height. <laughs> so like six foot high. I don't know, like. About five eleven to a six foot, yeah. Yeah, yeah. he's not the guy, you know then. Because <laughs> <laughs> yep. I know, because I know them by height. <laughs> it's, it's the most. Um, what's the most standout feature? Standout feature, yeah. Yeah, this tall fucker keeps slam dunking my packages. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's a, another fanfiction.net one. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> You know what happened to me? One, one, one day, some Hermes driver came up to me and uh, she was like, I know you from somewhere. If you work in Cytel, I was like, yeah. Uh, well, I worked there too, as a cleaner or something. One of the cleaners in Cytel became a, wow. a Hermes driver. Fair enough. There you go. I was like, fuck, I don't even know you. How do you know me? <laughs> You're like, I don't, yeah, I don't no. look at the help. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I thought we were friends. Uh, I've never spoke to her in my life. She just recognised me <laughs> out of the... How many thousands of people she must have saw on a daily basis in there. Well, maybe not daily basis. Singled you out, Colin. Yeah. You are very important, Colin. Yeah. yeah it's just, it was just me face. sitting reading, uh, sitting, sitting reading uh, Death Eater manga on my HTC Magic in the... In the foyer. Oh, he's just magic. <laughs> I think yeah. I, I broke my fingers playing um, Final Burn on my HTC Hermes. Um, uh, trying to play like the Final Burn and 
Windows. Do you mean like literally? Because maybe we could have seen the other incident coming. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. Warning no. signs were there. It's not literally. <laughs> it's just the fact that you're you're playing on like a Wii miniature keyboard, trying to like press uh, different uh, buttons, and it just caused cramps in my hand. Uh, so are we on to Q3? Q3 now. Or Q3, Q3. Uh, For me, uh, it is Transformers. It's a very Transformers heavy quarter. Do, 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 do. Um, That's John Cena, but he was in the, he was <laughs> the in Bumblebee. The, he was in the Bumblebee, yeah. Yeah, it's uh, when I got into the, the collecting of Transformers, but also the release of um, Siege on Netflix as well. Yeah, that was good. And I loved it. Watched it probably five or six times now. Yeah, um, super psyched for for um, Earthrise as well when that comes on. Um, Is that after yeah, Christmas, it's thirtieth. Yeah, thirtieth of December. So Christmas should be good. But yeah, I um, I think it was it was interesting, and it probably came at just the right time where like the proper G one resurgence of the the models. Ah, there's always there's always G one redos. There is, but I think I feel like this time they're how I remember them. This this is pretty solid era to be in. Yeah. So yeah, like nostalgia hit me hit me very hard, and uh, I've got well into that so much so that I now need shelving. So <laughs> that's what being used for. Well, no, I've got the shelves. I just need to put them up. So. <laughs> Nah, that's a hard fight though. Just yeah, like, that's nah. that requires effort and pff, mm. can't be bothered. Yeah. But yeah, that was that was pretty much my Q three. A lot of conversations about AliExpress failed deliveries of yeah. oh, uh, Power Glide and Power Glide. Yeah, you never got them. Fucking Power Glide. No, he was I the first one you went to get, and then you went and bought other ones, and they all arrived before he yep. didn't. I bought um, I bought Cosmos. Yeah, yeah, it was little cow. That. He's great. He's real good. Because also, at that time, as uh, lockdown got eased, eased up for us, so we were able to actually go and see people. Uh, That's right. Yep. That's right. We met up in person. Up. Yeah. We've seen each other as in, real people. In the pub on the, the Kingsway. Yeah. A lot. Weird That's times. Weird. Like three times. Yeah. That was a lot more than what we had in the previous months. <laughs> oh, <laughs> since, yeah. So, good. so yeah, that was my my Q three, and uh, it'll probably be some part of my early Q one next year when my uh, king my, my kingdom stuff gets mailed to me. So, with my my three pre orders, they, mm, there. they're starting well, to come out now. I pre ordered. Um, Inferno, Huffer, and Galvatron. Not Galvatron, um, Cyclonus, sorry. Oh, nice. Yeah. Cyclonus is out already, he's good. I I've got Cyclonus with Zavi pre-booked, so they're not getting them until next year, which is I'm fine with. So. Yeah. But I think I've got um, Huffer and Inferno with uh, In Demand. So that okay. Might, that probably will happen early Jan, I think. Yeah, they sometimes quicker. So we'll see. But yeah. Smith is saying Jan and March for stuff. It just depends. Uh, I, tried, I tried to watch the cartoon. The, the new one, the Siege one. Yeah, War for Cybertron, isn't it? Yeah. 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 I, I watched the first episode and I was like, oh, all right. I don't, I don't know. I was never into the cartoon and Transformers. Talking well, with. We've kind of had this discussion before where I think through years of uh, what I would call therapy, I realised that I don't actually really like the Transformers that much. I just really like the Transformers movie. Yeah. Um, um, I do like the the, car the old cartoon and stuff like that, but it's really just the movie is the, the focal point of my, my love for that franchise. I like and the then movie. It's, it's real good. And then... Um, I, I grew up in the comics. I, I also had some of the comics as well, but yeah, I, I had comics yeah. when I couldn't read very well, so... <laughs> <laughs> I, I still got so, that Steve, is that your goal? <laughs> Sorry, Craig? Is that what your, what your goal is to get, like, a movie cast or something? Then? Yeah, I quite fancy, like, because there are other characters that I like from G1, like Cosmos I've always just liked as a model, mm -hmm. and and that, um, the one I got is it, uh, 
X Transport Clatu. Right, is the yeah. one I got, and that seems to be a really, really popular one, a third party one. Um, but I think, yeah, I, what I'd really like is a sort of a movie cast, and now with the studio series coming out next year as well, it should be pretty I'm, easy, yeah, yeah. Oh man, they look so good as well. So, right. yeah, pretty, pretty happy about that. So, that was pretty much my Q3, <laughs> it was very Transformers dominated, but worth it, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh well, oh, Oz. I, mine was very much the same. Um, although I've been going for quite a while, um, but that was when I really got into the like Steve. I got really into the Siege and the Earthwise line. Um, those were my first official Transformers, and um. Yeah, I just really got into it, so they're all on a shelf at the moment. Um, I'm still adding to them. Um, but Yeah, the, Oz, you were all third party before that, weren't you? Yeah, I was, yeah. The one thing yeah. that I have been doing is actually... Because with the third party ones, I just put them on a shelf and just forgot about them. They just sort of look nice, but with the Siege and Earthwise line, I actually take them down and mess about with them. Yeah, um, which they're is very posable. Yeah, yeah, just good fun. Yeah, and it, I think it's it is like the it's the first time the first party line really spoke to me, other than like the really expensive ones that I like. Yeah, because like, I obviously like I really love the um, the uh, masterpiece Soundwave and uh, like the, the 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 Optimus Prime and the Megatron and stuff like that. Those are all, I really like those, but I'm yeah. probably not going to shell out the cash for those. Although I did see today there was a, what is it? I don't know, it's a Galvatron that looks absolutely baller, but he's £300. Ooh, <laughs> he's okay. Good. Just like the unicorn. Um, uh, man, it's 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 insane. Um, I Hang on. I had a, I have it on my eBay, you've looked at this list. <laughs> um, it's the FT-16M fan yeah. toys. Yeah. Um, I can... Yeah, oh, that's certainly Galvatron. It's real yeah, good. Awesome, like, the, it's it's pose like he's in the movie. <sighs> so good. It's it, it, to yeah. add insult to injury. It's also twenty pounds postage. So that's a real kick in the crotch. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I uh, I don't think I'll be getting that anytime soon, because there is another Galvatron coming, um, within re within a price a decent price range from what I understand. So that should be okay. I think. Yeah. So, I suppose it's me again. So, yep. my, my uh, third quarter thing would be, I was trying to play through all the dims and stream them, mainly. Oh, and also doom, rearrange doom, my room. Doom, 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 doom. It's, it's a bit different from previous streams. I, I think you really did something with that as well, though, Colin. Like, I'd, I would definitely commend you on the quality of that stream. Yeah. Because I definitely think you went above and beyond... To make sure the presentation of it was good, like the content was good, oh, yeah, it just yeah. it was a re really focused and really, like, I, I would say it's probably the most professional thing that's ever gone on Couch Fuel. <laughs> no, we had better things. No, I, no, I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. Like, I think you. But the thing, the beauty, I think the beauty of it was is the simplicity. Like you just had a really good core conceit, which is like, ah, oh, I'm going to play through Doom. But on then, like adding like the simple thing of like the kill kit, like how many times you've died, was just yeah. really really clever. Uh, yeah. And the good yeah, thing about it just, that it... is I got to remember how many times I have actually died and pressed the button. <laughs> uh, I've done many times of like going, oh shit, I haven't updated that. I better update. It. <laughs> yeah, that's about right. Uh, I, I think was, you said uh, yourself like that people were actually engaging. Yeah, I actually had a few people come back. Uh, mainly, the the most no memorable comment I had was like, "Fuck, oh, you're still playing Doom," <laughs> type thing. Like, yeah. Anyway, so I played through the like the original '93 release of Doom on the Switch, and then I was going to go to night uh, Doom Two, and I was going to go to Doom Sixty Four because that's the next one, uh, and then Doom Three, then. Doom 2016 
And then by the time I actually done that, Doom Eternal was actually came out. So I could go and play that. But I didn't. <laughs> and I ended up going to like halfway, not even halfway through Doom 2. I decided to play everything on ultra violence because, you know. If you you you're game, a masochist, it, yeah. Because you hate fun. yourself, yeah. Yeah. But it was fun. For the first few hours. It's when you get stuck <laughs> on a level and it, 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 it literally took you like three hours to get by. Just because you didn't do any quick saves either. Because uh, in the original Dooms, when you died, you just start back at yep. the level and you were just armed with a pistol and you didn't have any of the other weapons that you collected on the previous levels. So... There was a um, a giant bomb feature called Breaking Brad where they made him play, uh, made him play through Doom 1 and Doom 2 in ultra-violence. Yeah. And they're multiple hours long. <laughs> oh yeah, well there's certainly there's a good couple of sessions of playing one level. Uh, mainly it was like one of the last levels, one of the lost levels, I think they were called. Because originally it wasn't released in the game, the original game. But yeah. Uh, uh, it was good. It was good. It burned me out and then um, didn't really stream anything casual until we played by Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia? Phasmophobia. Phasmophobia, that's me. But I, I do, like, seriously, Colin, I, like it was... Um... It was the it was it was the probably the one of the best things that we've ever put on the channel. Well, here here's the thing, Steve. I was actually originally going to do that with a uh, what was it? Fuck, what's the game? Chick with the spanner. Ratchet and Clank. No, chick with the spanner, not the fucking cat thing with the spanner. Flicky. <laughs> no. Ah. Oh. I I I Icono class. That was the game. I played through that on okay. the on the stream. Um, oh, early okay. last year, and then I was going to play it again uh, through with a card count, but then oh, um, okay. the the incident with my hand happened. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, let's not do that. Cause, you know, I don't think I have the dexterity in my hand to continue playing that game, even though I still played Tetris ninety nine and that. Uh, my other thing for a uh, quarter three. You should never have hustled those guys at bowling. Um, I definitely did not hustle anyone at bowling. Well, actually, maybe I did. No, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not good enough to hustle people <laughs> at bowling. Anyway, the other thing I was uh, say is that I redesigned the room. I moved the couch around because the couch used to be over there. Yep. On uh, I'm facing this wall, but it's not. It's now facing <laughs> that wall over there. And the windows behind us. Shit. You never saw that before. Uh, on the street. No, we only seen you only seen it in Resident Evil. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You only really saw that in Resident Evil when we did the seven. The first uh, spectacular we did. Man, I still that, watch that back sometimes. Was it when you're fighting the the crazy Elon no, woman? Just, just different bits of it. <laughs> Like, when when Kirsty played really... it and like like pretty much headshot everything while she's screaming. <laughs> ah, <fuck. laughs> one of my one of my favorite moments yeah. is the I think you say so it's like this isn't so bad and then like minutes later you go oh Jesus Christ <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah that's me coming out of the cellar oh, yeah that's, that's the house really and, funny and just just like this fucking mad woman just jumps you. <laughs> It's a really good clip. Like it's so funny. <laughs> it's pretty good. So funny. Yeah, it was. Interestingly, it was. as well as you've got a good, uh, good space for the green screen now as well, behind the couch. Over there, yeah. yeah. Behind me is a table <laughs> where my mm. computer is. That's true. I forgot about that. You can actually just see it here. <laughs> yeah. That's I like behind me is a table as a philosophical comment. <laughs> Well, that philosophical is pretty much hard bit right there, man. Anyway, oh, okay, anyways. who's next? Uh, well, what... Monkey Swan. Monkey Swan. Monkey Swan. Do you mean goose? No, no, I mean. Um, when, when was I'm that? I'm looking through my. That was last year. My pictures on my phone, and Monkey Swan. Uh, someone took a picture of a swan looking at Monkey Swan written on a bin. Yeah. Um, 
No one that we knew. It was just a public occurrence. But I felt I needed to share it. Uh, in the summer, I wasn't playing any games. Uh, <laughs> you can't prove that. <laughs> um, but I did get a 3D printer. Yeah, oh, yeah you did, yeah. It I did. It was a fairly substantial occurrence. Well, it's yeah. a huge part of, of um, our banter these days, is talking about it. Yeah, like, oh, look what I printed. Yeah. And I printed it like... and looked at the bit that fell off and I'm going to glue on later. <laughs> 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 like, I'll be fine, I'll fix it, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, quite a lot of the time it is, yeah. Um, I actually have some instances of that today. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, um, it's it's really, like, been a, a well worth purchase, a worthwhile purchase. Like You certainly have... Almost used it. I would say you used it probably ninety percent of the time in the last. Yep. Since you bought um, it. It seems that way. I would. I would say that I've certainly used it a lot more this year, and I've only had it half the year um, than I have either of the two games consoles that I've got set up. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I do, uh, I do enjoy like going if I see like you posted pictures, finding out what what it has been printed today. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. and I, I think I mentioned this to you before as well as I was showing my my dad and my brother like your finalized um, models, like when they were mm. painted and everything like that, and uh, they couldn't get away with like the level of detail on them, like when it comes down to like, yeah. you know, like materials and and sheen on metal and things like that. So. Yep. It's it's uh it's an it's a skill you've got for sure. Thanks. Quality oh, skill there. Yeah, hundred percent. It's it's been really good to be able to, like I I've been painting and building models and that for a long time, but it, it it's the kind of the freedom that comes with the fact that you mm -hmm. can print another one if yep. you make a if you make a mistake or if you want to do like different styles in the same model. I was going to say, I think that, that like some of the conversations we had, like talking about software, about um, oh, like this one helps you choose like support points, mm. um, and it's like that means that I can figure out how to three D model this and add to it, like be additive or subtractive, yeah. and and like that's you you've not only sort of like um, used it to bolster your existing skill set, you've used it to to like learn more. Which is cool as well. Yeah, yeah, I feel pretty happy that I've been learning stuff with it, and it, it's been a boon to other like hobby as well. As it is basically its own little hobby. Yeah, yeah. But it 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 was a means to an end, in as much as I want to get all these cool models and be able to paint them. But yep. I've actually, I, I mean, I have frustration with it. Uh, when I do something wrong, or when it decides it'll do something weird, but for the most part, I've been I've been having a really good time with it, and it's yeah, a lot of different sort of avenues it's opened up for me. It's very cool, for sure. Aye, it's, definitely, it's, it's decent. Uh, yeah, Kirsty. Uh, so my Q three, um, at that point, oh, me off. No, <laughs> um, at that point, I I had had some time off work at one point for like a week or two or something like that, and as I'd worked in the NHS, I was feeling a bit burnt out. Um, hoped that a week would fix it, and it hadn't. So I was signed off work. Um, and was really bad with depression around at that time. Just had total lack of I don't know, just lack of anything really, wasn't getting any enjoyment wasn't having any motivation, anything towards that, and then um, Ghost of Tsushima had kind of came out around about that time as well, and it just, again it helped give that kind of that kind of immersion and that kind of joy back into it, excuse me, the cat's just flinging herself at something mm. don't know if you heard that, um yep. 
and it just it completely like totally took me into that world and it was you know even with the story and whenever anything had happened and just exploring everything and how beautiful it all looked it just helped to kind of reignite a little bit more of my love for video games and something that would make me happy again and get me back into trying to feel better um even though at one point I was like in buckets of tears <laughs> halfway through the game when certain story things happened and my dad walked in and he's like what's wrong what's happened I'm like my game just don't take a doctor been, a bit, been like, there oh. been he's there. like okay yeah. I'll just I'll leave you be he's like okay thanks oh my god I love this game <laughs> so yeah it, it just it really helped at that point for just being totally from going to totally burned out and just not wanting to do anything to being like well actually there might be something that can kind of maybe kick start just a little bit more of trying to get back to normal or at least some part of me that actually i'm enjoying yeah, yeah that's cool a, do you feel like like it's interesting like as a thing where i feel like you can as a person like emotionally stall like mm. Because I, I feel like that sometimes, particularly when I'm, like, repressing <laughs> difficult stuff. Like, you just, like, because, you know, uh, I think that year's, this year obviously has been like that for a lot of people. But I think it's that it's that thing of, like, the more you, like, just kind of, nah, it's fine. Like, just, just get on with it. Don't worry about it. And uh, there comes a point where, like, I feel like they're... Like you say, when you're, like, what, like, playing a game or something like that. And you'll start to get sort of, like emotionally invested in something like i find that the more i ignore my my emotions and stuff that literally anything will do that to me whether it's yeah. listening to a, like a song yeah. or watching an advert and then it's it's like the reason for this like i almost feel like the reason for this is that you are you are not allowing yourself to feel this so you're gonna need to let it happen at some point because <laughs> because if you don't it's gonna be bad and like yeah. I, I feel like i've I, mm. like because I, I did that as well like and and when i was working i was working like stupid 20 hour days not like because my work demanded it but because i just couldn't step away mm. and it, working from home does that to you i think like when you can like get into it to that degree yeah. and that that was my sort of my breaking point was realizing it's like you're just ignoring a lot of stuff like <laughs> you, like and all of a sudden you're like hmm lots of stuff doesn't feel very good anymore it's like yes that will happen yeah. <laughs> oh, like, burnout, please yeah. please 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 allow this flood <laughs> that you're holding back to go and then you can move on from it but it does like it's cool that like a game would do that as well i think like um it's it's really interesting to hear like how it allowed you to start enjoying something but also at the same time like being more than that mm. at yeah. the same time yeah. kind of yeah. like gives you an excuse to let things out for sure yeah because yeah. i i my my equate to that is uh the walking dead season one like i it's it's real rough yeah, yeah. it is like the last the last half hour of that game is horrendous <laughs> it's absolutely yeah. horrendous and i don't mm. want to play it through it ever again Nope. Um, once, once was enough, and then I but, remember watching like reaction videos at one point, and I was like, "Oh, I wonder what this is." And it was just various YouTubers and streamers just all breaking down, crying. You're like, "You shouldn't be watching this. You just like, cry along every time." Like, How many yeah. people can I watch ugly cry at this? Uh, <laughs> the next half hour turns out most people. Yeah. yeah. I got. I got to say, I've certainly. I think I've become a lot more introverted. In the last few months, and it's easy done. Yeah. Just doing that, but like I'm, I was opposite with you in homework, and I can't, I can't homework. I, I just get distracted. Well, I think that's the thing is like my my problem was is I let it become my distraction from the other stuff. Yeah. Like yeah, and it became it got like and it, it didn't help that it was at a time where things are not going the way i'd like them to go at work like it's each day was hard because there was stuff that was difficult to deal with but mm -hmm. also i was allowing that day to continue for 12 more hours than it needed to 
and you know I was answering emails and speaking to the United States, speaking to India uh, at like all hours of the day because I could. Yeah. And it, but it's it's just that thing. Like I mean, I think everybody goes through it to a degree, whether it's with work or anything else. Like you just over invest in yeah, something. I, I certainly think I do it when I'm actually in work. Like I just work constantly through the day, essentially. You know, I might take like an hour break from lunch, end up finding myself working like through the lunch just because it's easier to deal with things at lunchtime. Because yep, the school, all time. the teachers are all the teachers are free at the schools to, and you can go and see them. Uh, but primary schools get their lunch around about twelve to between twelve and one generally. The high school gets their lunch at like one to two. That's my. That's the two hour slot you're allocated to take your lunch, essentially. And I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll go and do that and go and pest them at lunch because it's easier than going walk into a class full of kids. Like you don't I think that's the thing is everyone's a bit different as well though because we did a we did like a survey at work where it was just like a check in type thing to make sure people were were okay and you know it's okay not to be okay but obviously the the main goal of it is to try and understand if you're not why mm. and. You know, there were a lot of people who were like, are you doing all right working from home? And they're like, yep, totally fine. It's like, are you taking regular break breaks? Absolutely not. It's like, you can. <laughs> like, you, you can you, you can do that. Like, no one's yeah. no one's demanding you to be at your desk. Like you, And it, it became that sort of thing of like, we talk about like, you know, you, you go into your work and you do your however long your shift is, like however long it needs to be. And it's it becomes this sort of... um presenteeism where it's like i'm here um I'm, I'm totally not able to do the job right now because my mind is not here and i'm not with it and i need to rest but i'm here and because i'm here that's fine mm. and ultimately you would be better managing your day not on time but on energy it's like do you, are you okay like can you do this longer if you can go for it how are you feeling right now very bad okay don't don't do it right now if, if you can't if you don't do it if you can't do it, you you don't have to. Like, yeah, I think there's a and working from home. I think has sort of brought that to the forefront of like managing your day by your energy rather than like you know what time I need to sit down and what time I need to leave. Like, obviously, yeah. it's still a guideline. Like, I need to try and be there for core hours and things like that. But at the same time, it's like I can give a little bit extra today. I can. I'm I'm okay with that. Or actually, I'm flagging already. So. This is going to be a day where I'm going to clock off when I when I need to clock off. So yeah. The the other thing is I say when I worked at home, I essentially didn't seem kind of roles. Uh, Craig of answering phones all all day, uh, so I'm very easily distracted. I won't write the call up straight away. I generally wait until after after I finish work to write all my calls up. It's like yeah, that's Jeez. that's that's, uh, that's that's not good call. That's how you do it. So when it's giving yourself like, so much extra work. Yeah. I know, I know. Uh, it's like, but as well as like, uh, I I mean, we've talked it. about this many a time, having all worked in the same call center. Like I used to get like wake up in cold sweats hearing the you have a call coming in noise in my head. Like, I've never, never suffered from that. Uh, it was it was like proper PTSD at one point. Yeah. And I wasn't even in the job anymore. <laughs> <laughs> It, was, it wasn't like oh it was like i was i in fact actually you know what actually it might have been more prominent when i was unemployed now that yeah. i think about it i tried to some it's form funny there. That. i get nightmares about my time in work over the past six seven years it's and i weird. still get that quite regularly it's really weird um but yeah it, it, it's i don't know what that is there must be some link there I think yeah. my nightmare is just about six and a half, seven hours a day most days. Yeah, <laughs> well, that's work. That's your work. It's, 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 it has absolutely everything to do with work. Yeah, yeah. it's literally my work. <laughs> Sorry, yeah, so to move on. it was it was it Ghost of Tsushima you said it yeah. was Kirsty. Yeah, I've heard a lot of good things about that, uh, oh, yeah. um, including a multiplayer mode that I think they're putting into it. Yeah, they have. Um, I think it was. Is it Legends mode? They 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 made a new game plus in Legends mode because people finished it, and then were like, "But I won't do it again. I won't do it again." It's just <laughs> amazing. 
Oh, it's, it's, I would totally recommend it to everyone. Need, in it. I th- need to get a PS5 or a PS4 Pro. <laughs> it's definitely on the list of. Oh, that would be good. But yeah. What was the what was that the other one uh, came out? It was like it had go the both Sekiro. Kind of little, yeah, Sekiro. Yeah. Sekiro. Shadows die twice. Yeah. Yeah. That was more that Soulsy, one? I think. I um, that was... It was what? one of the ones that was like on the kind of oh that might be good, and then I saw I kept seeing stuff about Ghost Streamer, and I was just like, do you know what? I think it was like something like sixty pounds, and normally I wait until. Games are a lot cheaper before mm. buying it, but it just was like... Sometimes it's just worth it, isn't it? And it turned out to be a really good decision. Well, I, I've always felt like if if I, like, play a game for 10 hours, like, if I've really enjoyed it, like, it's money well spent. Because, like, I'll yeah. pay £10 for an hour and a half in a cinema. So, like, it, it's all it's all relative, right? Yeah. Yeah. Was, um... It's, like, weird value in your time. Yeah. sitting there going because even now like i used to always hate paying like mobile games and things like that i used to hate if I, like i would always download free ones wouldn't buy like little bits of dlc or something like that but then it's like during lockdown i've always like kind of maybe fanning about my phone and blah 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 and it's like i have spent quite a bit of time on this it's like i'll, I'll buy a thing and like because i feel like i've got quite a lot bit of enjoyment so, out of that game so i'll yeah something towards it rather than just being like i think me and oz have talked about this quite a lot having worked in the the mobile industry was like it's funny that you know you wouldn't pay one pound 50 for an in-game app uh, an in-game purchase but i'll quite happily go and spend a pound 50 on a bottle of diet coke yeah Yeah. and 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 not even bat an eyelid Uh, (laughs) i mean i've i've never become dehydrated (laughs) from not paying money to an app that's also true. I also don't drink Diet Coke. But, oh. no, I, I get that as well. Like, it's like the 3D printing stuff. Like, when, when I started doing that, all I was looking at was, like, all these free files. And then I was, I, I was starting to see some that were, like, paid files or, like, Patreon stuff. And I was like, you know what? I don't mind supporting the people that are making these things. <laughs> like, if I was going to buy in a box of like plastic soldiers, you'd be 20, 30 quid. Now I can get a Patreon that'll let me print those out as many as I want, as often as I want for a tenner. Yeah, it's it's not a bad thing. And a lot of these people have been able to transition from, I'll do this as a hobby and I'll do one or two things a month to doing a full sort of spread of a, a, a whole army or whatever over a course of a couple of months because they're getting that money from a lot of different people and they can spend the time and they can give up their own work or go part-time or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, I don't mind. Well, it can be, it can be life-changing, that investment in people's yeah. work. And I think the thing is as well is that you'll, you'll know yourself, like the quality maybe tends to be higher on the paid ones because yeah, people a lot see of the value time, yeah. in their work. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Which is uh, cool. That's, that's all the ways. Um... So you go to the Tsushima, mm-hmm. there was a bit of take on it when it first came out, because something like it's not the true samurai way or something like that. I'm sure I've been, I saw people complain about it. I think there was a lot of discussion about it being a very Western, a Western viewed, mm, uh, yeah. okay. a Western perspective on the East. But I think that it's like, that's kind of gone away now. There was also like stuff about people who were saying it's like the game is like good. But also, most people fell off of it. Like, I think from a reviewer perspective, it's still reviewed quite highly. But there were a lot of people who were like, I got into it and then I stopped. Like, after the reviewing. And, yeah. and Right, so they but, felt no need to go back once but they're at done the same time, they're mandatory. Oh, yeah, but at the same time, there were also people who, like, were religiously hooked to it and couldn't stop playing until it was done. But there were very few people who were like, this is not a game for me. So That like, sounds it, really yeah. good. Like yeah, that's I think it is. I'd say that's positive. Sign that there's uh, there's people yeah. who have really enjoyed it because there's going to be people that really enjoy everything, even if it's garbage. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. For sure. I mean, look at the games Colin plays. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what I mean? You sometimes get hooked on something that loads of other people are like, "That's not a, that's not for me." Like monkey phonics. 
Um, and and then there will be things that a lot of people will like. Yeah. But kind of not to that extent. Like it's kind of like, oh well, we like it, but we'll get bored of it in a couple of weeks, sort of thing. Yeah. So hearing it's got that both sort of demographics there is pretty good, positive sign. I out of the two two of those the style of games that were announced around about the similar time, Ghost of Tsushima was not the one that I was choosing over the Sekiro. I would play Sekiro, but I think that's mainly because that reminds me of. Um, Blood will tell, because that was about. I'm sure he he's like some demon dude. It's like he's getting his body parts back. Oh I yeah, love I love that game. Uh, we streamed that for like two or three hours one night. I don't think it was that long. It was uh, so funny. It's basically, um, I think the storyline of uh, Blood Will Tell is this kid uh, body parts are sacrificed to the devils. And somehow yep. he survived. He was meant to die, bleed to death. Like I just remember you single... finishing the level and getting your spleen. And well, it, yeah. was the, it was the finisher level, and he gets his tongue, and he goes like, "La, <laughs> la," and just starts like <laughs> making like, <laughs> like. It's so funny. Oh, it's, it's ridiculous. And there's an anime of it. There's like two animes. Yeah, that's it. right. There's an anime of it. Yeah. Anyway, um, so yeah, that, that was basically somehow he. Uh, when he was born, he was sacrificed, and all, all, a lot of demons stole a, a part of his body. Like his vo vocal cords, his eyes, his legs, arms, his arms. Uh, bum hole. Bum his hole, eyes? Probably. Did you eyes. say his eyes? Well, it's literally a good 20 or 30 random body parts, like his kidneys and shit like that. And somehow, but in a certain, like, Old, olden days in Japan, like Edo time or wherever it was in Japan, okay. it's like, oh yeah, I'll just fashion like um, this wooden arm which has like, so happens, has a, a cannon in it. So you can yep. shoot cannonballs and spikes. Out and it was like, Assassin's Creed before Assassin's Creed. He had like, uh, for both his arms, because both arms were taken, he has artificial arms which he can throw off his hands and there would be blades. And he would run yep, around with swords underneath. It from his elbows down. Yeah, he so can still good. put the he can still put both his arms back on. It's so <laughs> good. Oh, it was just like what? That's on the PlayStation. So who's it? was it was a who, random who's, who's up? Uh, I think it's back to you, Steve. Back to you, yeah. Um, I think this uh my. <laughs> As as the year has closed in, like I've really wanted this time off, so it's been um, mostly nostalgia. Uh, so horror films, but also every night I will go to sleep listening to last podcast on the left. That's my, mm. and it's it's ridiculous and stupid and offensive and funny and dark and awful, <laughs> but um, I've basically created like a a favourites list of their episodes and I just put them on before I go to sleep and then the next morning uh, I wake up and I can't find where my earphone is so I crank up the volume as high as it'll go on my phone and then listen out for where it's fallen. <laughs> That's basically every morning. Um, so are yeah, you like, leaving them on as you're going to sleep? You learn them yep. through osmosis? I guess. Like I'm learning to be a person with twisted humour. <laughs> I guess is how that works. But yeah, it's been it's been good. Like I've listened to them for about three years. But um yeah, there's there's uh it's it's um I'm I'm listening to the classics, the stuff I just like the the, the topics are things like um <laughs> Catherine Knight, uh, uh John Benet Ramsey, um the Enfield Haunting, Black Metal, like they're ridiculous and amazingly offensive and funny so would would recommend <laughs> if you're looking for something to chuckle to but it's helped i think with my my stress levels in the evenings of just like at the very least i can go to sleep like laughing at something rather than thinking about something else so yeah yeah that's, that's really me good. yeah uh i i i don't know i don't listen to anything really in bed 
Play a super game on the phone, but that's about it. I stick sleep sounds on on Alexa. Um, I do that as well, but it's snoring, so. <laughs> it's, it's just snoring. I got that joke, Steve. She's going to come in here in any minute and beat me within an inch of my life for that one. <laughs> beat you with jumper cables. Yeah, oh. is it like, literally like a, an, an Amazon Alexa will come in like with cable legs and arms and just strangle me to death? I only got one kill, surely. But uh, that's just that that just seems like a extra regular show. Yeah, it does. Yeah, that's, that's just regular. It does. Show. Seems like every episode of the regular yeah. show. <laughs> that seems like most episodes of the regular show. <laughs> Some random everyday thing object just comes alive and starts beating you to death. It was like one of the, one of the episodes was um, they were, they got to the boss on a game and then their TV yep. cuts out, so they had to go and rig this old TV into their console and uh, and then it comes alive and then they're actually beating the TV in the console because like the boss came alive and they got like hit it with furniture and they wrecked wrecked the house because they're throwing all the furniture at it. But they, they beat the so game. Good. So good. That's how fucked up it can get. Anyway, it gets worse. Anyway, honestly. um, there's two things, um, but they're both in the same vein. Uh, one was series four of Fargo. Mm. Uh, I've been watching that every week, um, and that was absolutely brilliant. And the other one was the Great British Bake Off. All right, yeah. Um. <laughs> I just tuned in religiously every week, um, and it lasted for ten, what, ten, twelve weeks, something like that. Um, And it was just good fun that you don't have to think too much about, you know. Yeah, something that you don't have to put a lot of effort into or a lot of yourself into. You can just sit back, watch it, and enjoy. Enjoy some cakes going wrong. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that horse should be uh, Melon yeah. Sue now. Yeah, it's, it's Matt Lucas now. Uh, and oh, Noel right. Field. I think he did really well, Matt Lucas, this this series. It's, yeah. um, it's sort of like um, if Sandy Talks thing just shaved entirely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a Persian Sandy Talks thing. Yeah, Persian, Persian Sandy Talks thing. <laughs> The other day, I actually googled why is Matt Lucas bald. It's alopecia, right? Yeah, it is alopecia. I just thought he shaved, it, <coughs> but it's alopecia. Yeah. yeah, doesn't have any eyebrows. That's the that's usually the tell. Yeah, I just thought he had like really light eyebrows or something. I don't know. Nah, they're just not there. Yeah, he is egg. He is <laughs> egg. I just remember him from shooting stars. Yeah, yeah. I love shooting stars. What's what's the score? Scores on the doors. <laughs> what's the scores, George? Doors. George does. That's it. Yeah. Mental. And then, I had surprised he's still hosting after his whole fucking Little Britain escapade thing. It started out this year. Oh god, I can't believe they took it off Netflix. What happened? I because it's blackface. They cancelled it because everyone's woke now. Oh, for fuck's sake. I say that like it's a bad thing, but <laughs> it's not the best. It's definitely it's a, a mixed thing. Not too black face, but uh, it's still, yeah. I, I'll be honest. I always thought that that stuff was kind of shit anyway. Like yeah. I never really liked Little Britain that much. I much prefer some of their earlier stuff. Yeah, I didn't like Little Britain. I was um... Rock Profile was amazing. I didn't watch. It. I I really remember from. Uh... Shooting stars. A little Britain came along. And was like, nah. And then Legal Gentlemen. I watched maybe some of the episodes of that because it's just fucked up. Was he in that? No. I think it was like but there's it there's a. Uh... Oh yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah. If you want to talk about woke comedy, Jonathan Pye does a lot of good stuff about woke comedy. Hmm. I think oh, there's that. There was... Damn that guy. He's very. I. He's difficult to watch, and I think it's because he says a lot of things that are true. <laughs> 
but there's there's a particularly good bit where he's talking about i think it's will smith wanting to play i think is going to be playing like serena williams father in the biopic of the williams sisters okay. yeah and uh people were like but he's not the right color of black <laughs> and it's like hang on a minute i'm sorry what it's like are we <laughs> now being racist against other black people because they're the wrong shade of black it's like <laughs> guess we'll need to get out no, the Jumox color thing. chart to decide who's going to play the role of <laughs> serena williams father in the biopic not because you know it's difficult enough it's like Would i'm you sorry not just be like Will Smith, just put him in a movie. You'll be yeah. all right. <laughs> Unfortunately, well, he's the wrong Pantone. After Earth, like he's generally all right. It's just that's that's the level of lunacy I I disagree with very much. It hurts my heart. Like, <laughs> can we not just have good actors doing good things? That's it's not like he's appropriating. It's not like he's playing a small Chinese man in something. <laughs> I would. I mean, mean, let's let's be honest. I would absolutely watch Will Smith play a small Chinese man. Will Smith in the Jackie Chan story. See, yeah. If Jackie, if if Will Smith played Jackie Chan in the biopic of Jackie Chan, you had better believe I would be there day one. Yeah. Was uh, this kind of goes back to, like, the other thing I was going to say is the Monty Python stuff. No one's like blacklisted that, but Uh, like O'Brien. They just. They got their face covered in, in shit to be like more. It's the intent. Or... It's the intent of the joke, though, right? Like, yeah, yeah. Is, it, and I think they like a lot of people. It's self-aware. Well, yeah, it's like the yeah. whole Robert Downey Jr. thing where people were really pissed yeah. off. It's like, yeah. well, actually, he was playing a white actor who was so ridiculous that he dyed his own skin to be black, and then was a total racist caricature, but. <laughs> He wasn't making fun of black people. He was making fun of the lunacy behind method acting. Yeah. Like, it's a different thing. Yeah. And also, it's, it's, it's just super difficult because, like, the intent behind the joke is everything, right? Like, people talk, people tell mm-hmm. jokes about things. They... Is it? Well, it, uh, yes. it's like saying the intent behind the art is everything, but it's not always. Like, I'm not saying you may not have to apologize after, but okay, I guess okay. what, I, what I'm saying is, though, is like, if you're putting on blackface because you don't like black people, that's a problem. If you're putting on blackface because you're trying to bring a comedic edge to something that's maybe not really funny, but like expressing the lunacy behind a situation. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's more, ex- I'm not saying it's acceptable. I guess what I'm saying is, is it's like, it's different to just being out and out racist. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. I, I also, I'm also not a fan of when comedy like d- is directed at specific people. I think that's maybe a little unfair. I think if you're going to like tell a joke, I think at the very least it should be at a group. <laughs> not singling out a person, but Matt Damon. which is why Frankie Frankie Boyle's quite difficult to watch cuz he <laughs> he has his favorites. <laughs> he definitely yes. likes to to have a go at certain people. But I do also well, like like to watch him tear apart the the audience. It's very amusing. Yeah, also, this kind of winds back to also the um, the whitest kid on the block comedy. Whitest kid, you know? Yeah, the whitest kids, you know. Because I don't think they'd be able to do any skits now. Not with. Well, like... it's 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 sort of like I feel like that with um Key and Peel as well. Like their stuff is very yeah. edgy. Yeah. Um, Particularly in regards to like race and and sexuality and things like that, but they get away with it because they're very clever about it. Like that's the thing is like it's it's you 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 just have to be intelligent about your comedy, and and a lot of people are not. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah. a lot a lot of people are just racist and think they're funny, which is a problem. Mm-hmm. You know, see Jim Davis or. <laughs> You know, there's other. Jim, Jim Davis is the guy that does Garfield. Oh, oh sorry. Uh, no, that's no, it's the same is guy. That... It's the same Jim Davis as the guy. That Jim Davidson. Break. Jim Davidson. Whatever the, the big break, whatever the big break guy is. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Jim Davidson. But he's not been a thing for fucking twenty years. He's a he's racist. St- he's still thing a member. Of, he's still a racist thing, and he's he's a member of the BNP still. So. 
Oh, allegedly. Oh, yeah. Uh, sorry, allegedly. Allegedly. Yes, yes. No, I was saying he's racist as well as allegedly. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess oh, allegedly he's racist. It's probably able, you can probably prove whether he's a member of the BMP. <laughs> I was going to say, I think if I end up in court, YouTube's got my back on this one, but. Once we upload this to YouTube. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. Uh, you heard it here first. And, you, yeah. and by that, I mean you definitely you probably did not hear it here first. No. Yeah. <laughs> You've probably been hearing about it for the last 15 to 20 years. Well, you might, you might have heard it here first because you don't know the man. Because he's not. I mean, that's that's. All. There's also, I think, there's a there's a an there, Australian. There might be people that are like burning oh. Garfield strips now. <laughs> <laughs> a pyre of oldies. Well, you know, he's he's a capitalist. <laughs> Jim Davis. He made that solely to make money. That's um, like a, the guy. What's the guy that does Dilbert? Um, what are all the things that we've talked about so far? Oh, and just they're, 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 they were all. Charity efforts. Charity efforts. And none of, none of the other things that we've talked about so far that, that we kept us going through the year were capitalist ventures, no? Yeah. Yeah. I'll be honest, okay. I've consumed this year. Yeah. <laughs> uh, consumption has been probably the key focus in this discussion so far. Play I've definitely games. helped Jeff Bezos' bottom line this year, so... Yeah, I haven't. No, I just stayed away from Amazon. I mean, I don't think I myself have made a dent in it. <laughs> like, it's the tiniest blip in his bottom line, but I think everyone combined, yes, we have. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, pr provably so, because I think he's yeah. like one or two billion richer than he was at the start, so. Oh, I, no doubt, because he's got Well, the, at least somebody's contracts. turning out okay at the end yeah. of this year. Um, my four four. I started it. I started uh, getting. I started playing. Uh, what's it called? Again. Hollow Knight. That was it. Oh, okay. Hollow Knight's good. Hollow Knight's all right. I wouldn't. I don't. <laughs> know, it's, it's. I I find it hard because you always got lost. There's no. That was my biggest game. complaint. I felt that um, every time I was playing it, um, navigation was a nightmare, and I eventually gave up, despite the fact I felt the gameplay was really fun. Yeah. Um, I like the gameplay, but essentially, going anywhere in it is like, oh, where am I going? Um, What's it like? I have no idea. I have no idea where I'm going. Oh, I'll run into a boss. Oh, I must be going the right way. <laughs> it had a nice art style as well. Oh, it's good. I like nice the art style a lot. Uh, I did you play it, play it on Switch? Did you play it on uh, Switch? No, it was the Xbox. It was on Game Pass. It still is. Oh. I can still go to it. Mm -hmm. And then, I suppose, coming into the end of the year, I was got back to Gears 5. I was going to mention a little bit about Gears 5, because it's been fun when we played it. Yeah, it was good fun. Um, I've, I had boosts, so I've kind of Flew through the ranks. Gears five. <laughs> I think what general or something now. Right. Jesus. Uh, my boost is gone. Oh. I mean, I got it in the first place. Just like oh, I have two weeks boost and you'll get all oh, double stars for all your dailies. And it, it finished there on Monday. Jeez. Um. But yeah, that's that's me. Late. And I feel. Coming into this month, I'm not in a Christmas spirit yet, either. Yeah. Just, but then, I don't know, I have been big into Christmas for a while. Uh, I got a new TV, I got a 4K TV. I was like, actually, a purchase that I was like, really excited about. It was like the first purchase in a long time that I've been like, going, oh yeah, I'm going to get that. I'm getting, I'm getting a 4K TV. It's going to be great. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm watching you guys out right now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Massive. If you don't want to see me in, four, in 4K, I must look like Jeff Goldblum in the fly. No. no. The, well, the except from the pose that you're in really look dark. a little bit like Jeff Goldblum from Jurassic Park, but... Is it, no, <laughs> it's like, it's not nearly enough leather. No, I was, I was saying more 
It kind of like, yeah, in the sense that I say you're a bit dark in the screen on my side, but that's all right. Have uh, you got HDR on? Ah, I think so. I don't know. If you've got HDR on, that's probably why. Yeah. Good, uh... I don't know. I have. I just turned on the the PC. That's cool. That's cool. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much my fourth quarter. I haven't really done much. I can think of in this fourth quarter except for play those games. Uh, watch Star Trek Deep Space Nine. Well, yes! I've been uh, so moving good. through that slowly for like the past few years. I'm finally <laughs> on the last season. Nice. Yeah. It's about to get real good. Yeah, well, I don't know. I've been through the Dominion War. It's kind of. Kind of slowed down to all like the relationship stuff, like it wraps up really well. Yeah, I heard it's maybe good. I've never actually, I don't think I really watched many Star Trek when they first got released back in the nineties. I haven't really watched many of them all the way through. I watched a couple of them itself. You but, know, uh, mm -hmm. I always wondered um, if. I was always the way I am now in terms of my likes and dislikes and things like that. And then I remembered <laughs> that when I used to go and play with other kids in the park, my mum was the one that used to come and get me to tell me that Star Trek was on and I would leave. <laughs> so the answer is yes, I've been the same way the entire time. <laughs> but yeah, it was like, it's like, ooh, next generation's on. Sorry, guys, gotta go. Yeah, uh, I watch I, it every every day. I so, actually think I remember watching Next Generation when it started on TV. It was BBC Two, I think I was watching it on at the time. Because, yeah. like, I remember watching it with, like, it was like my folks and my grandparents and that. Because, like, we'd watched, like, reruns of the old one. They'd probably watched it when it came out. Eh? Um, and it was just, yeah, it was, like, I I used to remember, like, used to get. Weekends on like BBC Two or Channel Four you used to get loads of like sci-fi stuff, like really old stuff like Time Tunnel and Quantum Leap, Lost in Space and stuff like that. Land Before Giants. Land Before, Before Giants. Giants. Yeah, man, Holy that was. A, I never, I never liked that. I um, loved that. It's weird. That the thing, and back then, um, back then in the old days, it was different regions had. Different programs on during the yeah, morning. it was Gramp Grampian and STB. all those other different ones. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, and, um, yeah. So I get to watch Line of Four Giants and stuff like that when I went down to the Gram. You can watch them on 4K now. I could watch them on 4K. <laughs> I think I could watch them on 4K. I don't it would look like watch. somebody is putting on a puppet show. Well, you know what I find watching on the 4K TV, watching this old Star Trek stuff, I find it looks smoother. Really? Have you got uh, have you got motion smoothing on your TV? Possibly, possibly. I need to look through functions. I does just... ever does everything look like a soap opera, Colin? Soap opera, like where it's really smooth, or yeah. no, where it's really yeah. not no, nice at all. At the back, you need to yeah. switch. You need to switch that motion smoothing off immediately. Oh what? <laughs> I kind of liked it. So, oh god! No, it's not the most. It's like just like seems to be dark. See if I come round in it. It looks like EastEnders when everything is on. I'm I'm gonna we'll, tell you to turn it off. We'll have words. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can pro tips right here on the 4K TV. Because that's, yeah, that's, no, that's I. That's not even that's not even a pro tip. It's just you, you don't like watch football or anything, right? No. So it's only really good for for live sports. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, I like it. It makes that. films look terrible. It does? Yeah, I haven't yeah. watched that many films. To be fair, I was watching Prince of Persia at someone's house at New Year because it was on, and I was like, "This looks really weird." Uh, and I was like, "This, this is maybe just a bad film," which is not a great film. But then, then I realised. You realised it was a motion smoothing. Yep. Dum dum dum. And it was like. And I was like, do you know that your TV has motion smooth? And you're like, no. It's like, how long have you had this TV? Like four years. And it's like, oh my god. Everything you've ever watched has looked like shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, Unless it was live sports. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, so that was my exciting fourth quarter. Uh, Craig, I suppose that you're up next. I've done loads. I probably did it. I probably did it, like the same amount of stuff as I did all the rest. But I I remember the recent Ooh, time yeah. more. Just try and get it off. But so I've been playing Gears with you guys. Um, mm -hmm. I played Jedi Fallen Order on the Xbox because it came on Game Pass, or it's on EA Play, which is part of Game Pass now. It's a whole thing. Um, it was really awkward to download because Xbox menu systems are. Um, and that being Star Wars, I worked my way through it, but it was not a game for me. It, it looked like it was technically fine, mm -hmm. but it was... And I liked the story. I liked the story well enough, but it was really not very fun to play. Was that the one that was made by Respawn, the team that yeah. did Titanfall? Yeah. I, I did always think it was weird that they made them do a third-person action game when they were very successful in making first-person shooters. Like, third-person action game, yeah, bring that on every day. That is, mm -hmm. I, I can get right behind that. Um, I liked that I could change the colour of the man's poncho. Um, that was that was big times. Uh, I gave him a he, he got a pink poncho at one point, and I was ro rolling about with that and a little um, pinky pinky blue droid. I would think was quite good. Um, but yeah, just it was. I started playing on normal, and it was too much of a pain in the arse, so I had to turn it down to easy difficulty. Yeah. And there were still things about yeah. how the game yeah. worked that I just couldn't get behind. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's still, it was a, like it you were felt. saying about getting lost, Colin. Yeah. Jedi oh, yeah. Fallen Order is just, that is just getting lost the game. <laughs> oh, Even more just... so than the game lost. Oh yeah, totally. God I imagine that's mostly just about people shouting each other's names in a forest. <laughs> um, the, the Jedi game was not the good. But it was it was interesting. But then I got Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven and that game is broken as anything. But it is also more fun than the Jedi game. Like it's not as immersive and but it is as immersive because there's not as many times where I die because I can't grab on a rope. Like, I'm not getting taken out of the game because that. Cyberpunk? And not yet, so far. <laughs> um, you never know. You never know what will happen. Um, Too busy digging through piles of dildos. Yep. Yep, allegedly. Long may um, they never fix that bug. <laughs> well, the, the patch came out today, so it could happen. Oh, no. Um, but the, the Jedi game was just, like, trudging back and forth and like don't get me wrong there's a lot of like oh I'll go to this end of the map in cyberpunk but it's not quite as boring or as frustrating having to travel about the place like for the most part having to travel from one place to another is quite fun um and i haven't experienced a lot of the major bugs that people have been showing like the half a dozen or maybe a little bit more clips that you've seen time and again of one particular bug happening one time. I haven't experienced those exact things. But it is definitely broken. And it's not just broken, but it's also really shoddy. Like, shortcuts to systems and like you were saying, Colin, about everyone having their own individual thing. Yeah. Like, they, they don't at all. Know, you, not, there's, that's there's. Not what I was really mean with it earlier. It's, it's, they were on about. No, how... but it's what they advertised. Uh, was it? Was it exactly what they advertised? I thought they, they just, advertised they were... each character, each NPC would have their own routine and blah blah blah. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They'll have like their own like where they walk type thing. It's not going to be. Yeah. Completely. No. Like, uh, on a. 
Kind of a like loop. loop type thing where no, there'll be one NPC that's walked around like the entire city or there's kind of like might be. I mean, if there is, <clears throat> then they probably should have just put everyone on a set path because it doesn't work. I think part of that. Do you mean it's it just deadly premonition that has like NPCs going about their daily work and then going home and. Yep. You know, <laughs> How's the game? Well, they they I mean, it. I did see a man the other day that might have been going to work, but he was walking across the top of a like a, an open like an open area of a market. Like he, he instead of going down the stairs to go into the market, he just walked across the empty space in between <laughs> um, to the other side. Ta da! The bit I really like is uh, in one of my favourite comments that I've read in the, the bug videos is we have a city to render. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Which just just makes me laugh every single time. Because there's that, that video I posted in the chat where it does the intro video and it goes welcome to whatever city and then it just like goes uh, 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 and just crashes. <laughs> like immediately. And it's like wow. I cannot believe that that's an experience that anyone has had to have with that game. There was a solid four hours or something the other day where it just wasn't loading stuff. Yeah. Like, it, like I couldn't see items I was interacting with. When things were loading, it was low-poly versions of them. It was, it was very, very um, San Andreas throwback. Maybe, if I'm being generous. I think it's though. Four? Okay. Are you on a base PS4? Or have you got the no, I'm on a Pro. He's on a Pro? Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Imagine if he was on a base PS4. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I got it on PlayStation, because it's a base Xbox I've got. Yeah. And I, I didn't think it would probably be a wise idea to try it on I've that. got a 1X. I could get it there, but I'm too terrified. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'd rather get it on PC, yeah. where it works, kind of. Mm, I don't know. I've seen a lot of people commenting that they've got it on PC and it crashes all the time as well. <laughs> There's just so many good bugs in it. Like they just keep coming. There's. there's legit I mean, one. I would, oh. I would legit expect that whatever's come out today, whatever patch has come out today, is going to cause havoc for something. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. It's because they probably introduced the havoc engine. <laughs> I mean, for me, you've seen it before, Steve, where we'd release a buggy build and then we'd try and like rush out a fix for it and that'd yeah. break two more things. Yeah. Yep. It's so, like, oh, it's like, to be you, fair, you their physics engine's pretty good for corpses. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The, bit, the bit I love is there's one where like the guy just <laughs> pulls a person out of the car, but as he pulls them out of the car, <laughs> It's the first person of this guy's shocked expression as they both <laughs> fall through the map and just into eternity. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's just incredible. I think I saw that. I think I saw something. Like that. There are so, so many. And the thing is, is like, it makes me want to play the game more. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. desperate. I'm desperate to get involved and in the buggy mess. And that's why you should get it now, because I don't think... I mean, I think they will fix some of the stuff. What I imagine that they might have patched today on PlayStation is probably the ability to raise reports of the bugs and ah, the crashes. Okay. <laughs> they've, they've probably patched out the ability to report the bug to, to uh, Sony. That would be what I would imagine Sony has requested they do. Because they probably, you know when a game crashes it goes, something's gone wrong and you get a blue screen and then it goes, do you want to report this? this? Tell, us, tell us what went wrong. The last few times I've just put in, I was playing a game, isn't it? Cyberpunk. <laughs> <laughs> what went I, wrong? I believe the hype. Yeah. <laughs> I trusted CD Projekt Red. I the thing is, the I didn't, like, I wasn't pre-ordering this game or anything, but I, I was, I was interested, and I, when I realised it came out, I think it was the, was it Tuesday or Wednesday it came out, and I bought it on the Friday. I'm like, yeah. I think it's I was like, oh, actually. I think it was Thursday. I, you bought the next I said to you, well, I'd said to you it was due out soon, and you told me it was out now. Yeah. So whenever you told me, like, I I knew that it was out whenever you told me it was out. 
which I think was the Wednesday or the Thursday. And I, I think I, I know was... it definitely. I didn't get it on the Thursday because I was doing gears, so yeah. there was no point. Uh, and then, yeah, Friday I bought it. That's I think, an interesting. Um, I think uh, what I'm. Uh, I know my mate was downloading like the the game from the digital product. Mm. Yeah, the digital version people were downloading like last, like not last week. I don't know the week before it came out. Whenever it came out. So people yeah. had it installed, and then they got the first patch before it had even come out. Yeah, it was like like they were people were downloading their day one patch game. before they were able to play it. Some of stupid. Well, I don't know, Grail, because I downloaded the whole thing, and it was like 117. Yeah, yeah, I think it was. And then the one today was not as much as that. It was like 30 or something. Yeah, it was like 17. I so I right. can I can get Cyberpunk for 35 quid. There you go. Yeah, hot UK yeah. deals. Yeah. Yep. Hot UK deals in your area. I, I did wonder yep. how cheap it was going to go since everything was again cancelled. <laughs> I, might, I might jump on, on it as well on a base console. Get everyone my on it. My PC is not good enough. Oh, well, my PC is okay actually, I guess. Your PC? Yeah. Yep. Maybe. It's but again, the, the, but how, the, the, Hot, how, how much of the hot mess it is on PC as well. <laughs> yeah, that is also very true. The, um, the things that I've seen, they say it'll play well on a high-end PC. Yep. It'll play well on the thing that most people don't have. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, how much money did yeah. you spend on your gaming rig? Surely it was £4,000. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> is the only a... thing of mine that's maybe a little old is the uh, the graphics card is um, not very new. Oh. What have you got? 1060. They are still pretty good. I mean, half the time it's not going to be trying to load those things anyway, so... <laughs> it's not, it's not going to put very much strain on the graphics card when it's not loading stuff it's supposed you, to. You think they're going to uh, change the phrase of, will it run the crisis? To, will it run cyberpunk? <laughs> Can it run cyberpunk? <laughs> oh man, I would love that. Yeah. Uh, also, as a, one of your mates is in the chat, it seems... Uh, yeah. He is, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. <laughs> they didn't recognize you, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> I had to tell them it was you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thought I'd just see if you haven't said. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, Cyberpunk. Seems to be a hot steaming mess, which has now been apologized by pretty much every corporation, Xbox, and, and PlayStation. And. What an apology from CD Projekt Red. Dear gamers, <laughs> we're so sorry. We get, I guess we didn't pay as much attention to the old version as we should have done. Well, sorry. It's <laughs> like... Showing you it on the old consoles as well. That was an oversight. Yeah, it was an oversight. It was they definitely not a deliberate... Decision. Yeah, no. it definitely wasn't a conscious decision not to show anyone. <laughs> Oh Jesus! And then I believe uh, I also heard that people inside the company are pretty pissed off at them. Oh yeah, yeah. Are they? They're yeah. not happy. Yeah. The people. Oh, fuck it. Okay, I'm, okay. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Jesus. It's caved. It's caved. <laughs> you've you've sold me on it. <laughs> you gotta get it, man. You can just wait. Until I, I'll, it's share, like six I'll share. I'll share like some. Anthem was. <laughs> I'll share some <laughs> clips of some of the bugs that I got. Actually, that well, I've got a couple. I've got two clips and I've got a couple of um, screenshots. Uh, Anthem, Anthem's on uh, Game Pass now. I have Anthem. We should play it sometime yeah, on Xbox. I th I'm I pretty sure somebody came at my door and handed me Anthem in a fiver and said, <laughs> "Please play this." <laughs> Would you like no. to talk about our Lord and Savior Anthem? Yeah, it's not Vampire <laughs> Rain. <laughs> no, Vampire Rain was delivered to you by somebody lobbing it out of their car at full pace, and it just happened upon your flat. Uh, yeah, Love Film. Love Film, when uh, when that was about delivering games to your door. The uh, best. It was good. <sighs> I, I got to, like, the second level or something in it. You know, it was, like, almost impossible to get past the first guy. Like, the first 
bog star guy you walk out the level. Oh, I'm going to walk by this guy. Oh, you bet. <laughs> you see, I've got a funny story about Love Film. When I was working at the bank, this old lady came in with a statement and she was saying, what's this Love Film on my statement? We had no idea what it is, so we just told her her husband was watching porn. Porn. <laughs> 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 I'm oh. poor man. I'm... Oh my god. Either poor man oh. or disappointed lady. <laughs> yeah. Why not both? Yeah. How dare he be watching porn without me? Right. <laughs> I think it's because uh... it's paid for. <laughs> How the fuck are you? Yeah, buying? like <laughs> if you're gonna get something that's worth paying for, at least let me watch it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. All right. Why is uh... it making? Kirsty, I think it's, it's up to you now. Uh, Q4. Um, so mine isn't a game per se for Q4. That's okay. Mine's. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, it's the TV show, uh, Richard Osman's House of Games. Oh, uh, yeah. That I really do like, and it is helping mm. trying to actually be like, today is Monday. This day. <laughs> Now it's Wednesday, because Richard Osmond is telling me that it's a different day. <laughs> and it's just, yeah, like we have a little tradition now that we're sitting down and we watch House of Games and we have an argument about who got the answer first and oh, I don't know, that's not right. But yeah, it's just, it's, 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 say it's helping trying to figure out, oh, this is a different day. I really, I have been wearing these pyjamas for three days on the trot now. I think I should change them. <laughs> <My drink. laughs> Yeah, and yeah, it's just that kind of being able to sit with the family and even though you're in the same house most of the day and you're stuck and you're stuck seeing each other, it's still like, oh, but we all will do this and then we'll all come together and we'll watch that and then we'll all go to our separate rooms and look at our mobile devices and not talk to each other for the rest of the day. But yeah, it's just having that little bit of, this is a little normal routine thing that we'll do every day. This has really helped. Especially since now it's, yeah, it's been getting a bit crapper and crapper as this month's going on. Mm. Yeah. I know, I, I was say on offset, I'm coming out of the, the grog and being a bit happy. I'm looking forward to some time off. Mm. I've got two more days left. Lucky you, I'm, I'm working all the way to, uh, um, all the way to um... <laughs> Amarillo. Amarillo, yeah. <laughs> all the way to Christmas Eve. I am. Would that not be changed? Do you not work because you work with schools and stuff like that? Because the schools are changing. Is that are they oh, not gonna? Nah, he still works anyway. I work. I work for the council. Uh, the council. Council. I work for the council. The I thought you were Australian cancel. for a minute. Yeah. <laughs> I was just saying cancel instead of cancel. Uh, yeah, but it's oh Freudian. Yeah, uh, I work for cancel, not the schools, as Aww. per se. But they've still got the kind of sports stuff there. So yeah, if they're kind so, of shutting up on uh, Monday, that's a good question. You work yeah. for Dick Jones, Dick and Jones. Dick Jones runs OCP, and OCP runs the cops. Is that what you're saying? Uh, yeah, you know me. <laughs> I'm not going. To, I'm not going to state that. That's that's how you get shot. <laughs> <clears throat> Robocop doesn't like that. Uh. Um. Yeah. Did the husband get par paraband. <laughs> oh, was the with the bank statement. I, th I think so, or, or something like that. Or, I don't know. Is your mate asking the question, Don? Did the did the husband get par parma banned? Um. Oh, who knows? Who knows? <laughs> like she didn't come back in later asking to separate the joint account or anything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She she did come back sporting his head as a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Scalped it. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I don't know, I've not even heard of that show. House no. of Games. No, I heard, heard it's of House of Games. It's only like tea time. Yeah, tea time uh, Monday to Friday, but I think we've changed it You're probably still now. transmuting from your work to your home. 
that, and also I don't really watch anything on TV because I don't have a channel. You also don't really watch TV, yeah. I seen a bacon show this week. Was it, did it have I, I, wasn't. I don't think it was Bake Off, though. No, Bake Off's finished. Uh, it wasn't like Nigella Lawson and her weird... Oh, believe me, I would have remembered if it was Nigel Off. Because <laughs> she's telling you to put, she's telling you to put things in fictional items in your kitchen. The microwave. The micro, the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> I love that actually. It's okay. the kind of shit I do all the time. Have um, you ever seen the 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 thing where somebody <laughs> somebody put their microwave for sale and called it a Michael wave? <laughs> Michael wave. <laughs> <laughs> was the person's name Michael? That would have been amazing. That's it's my Michael up. wave. <laughs> my Michael wave. This is how I wave. Yeah. Uh, no, this baking show was like people doing different courses to like get in some banquet or something. Like they would. It was. It was like spend loads of time and do a really good job on these like four versions of this thing, so that you then get to do the exact exact same thing like a hundred times later on. I oh, didn't I really. I, one you're talking about. I didn't really get the point of it. Yeah, it's like you're the best cook of like a starter main dessert. Yeah, yeah. Like each fancy each one people. was like their own separate. Mm -hmm. So it was like the first round was like the starters, and then it, it worked its way up to the puddings. And I was like, ah, I like that. I like puddings. They're good. Mm. Yeah. But they weren't really. They were quite boring. Yeah, the stuff they do is quite fiddly and fancy, and then they taste it at the end and they go, that's shit, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. That's why you um, need to watch... Uh... Gordon Ramsay, is it? But there was one <laughs> lady that did, like, a caramel, like, glass bobble, because Christmas and that. And so she did that, right? And then, like, for the rest of the episode, everyone did something like that in their one, because she'd won. I was like... At least change the look of it a little bit, like yeah. just blatantly hand over her her homework. I hope you're happy. I'm now installing Cyberpunk. <laughs> I am. I am. I am happy. I. Oh, I, I want. To, I really want take? to talk story with We've you. Got, we have got a city to download. I want to talk story with you and say, "Oh, did you do this thing?" Or, "Oh, did you like when that happened?" Did you, did you Remember when you, that guy's hand got stuck in the car and then the did, car started doing cartwheels? Did you like <laughs> killing the flamingos? <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Yeah. Mingos. Yeah, I watched a stream of, uh, I think it was RT Game playing Cyberpunk and it was the first little bit because he got a card from NVIDIA, I think with the RTX. Yeah. Right. Something. Mm. I remember. Um... And I think this whole stream chat was just sitting every single time he was talking to Jackie, who was his friend or whatever. And the yeah. whole stream was just like, kiss him, kiss him, you're too close, kiss him, the sexual <laughs> tension. That was all they were focused on. It wasn't about, ooh, this is cool combat and you can hack things, you can do this. It was just like, kiss him, kiss him. It's like, there's no like, option. There's no option. Have you have you seen the video of the, the people at the, the state? They're obviously like at a stadium watching sports, but instead they're watching like a big scoreboard television with one of those screensaver bouncy things on it. <laughs> and then like, like it gets very close to the corner, and everyone's like, oh, oh, and then eventually it gets into the corner, and everyone's like, yes. <laughs> It's very much like it's like there's a game, you guys. You paid to come here to watch the game. <laughs> I don't know. That is basically sport, though. True. Was it, was it baseball? At this at? I don't know actually what sport it was. It might have been cricket. To be honest, I'd rather watch the scoreboard. So. Mm. I don't think I can't think scoreboards and crickets were digital, and have that be that fancy. I just think no. there's still like the bits of card that you move up around the thing going. Yep. That's it's like one. a bus. It's That's like the front of a bus, eh? Like a bus where you got the crank. Yeah. The front. Yeah. Cranking the bus up. Like they've got a, a couple of wee guys from like the lower classes <laughs> at the back that have to turn the crank every so often and turn the score up. Yeah. Looks like a PC's not got the newest patch yet, Craig. Oh no! Uh, oh, fav good. favoring the consoles. I'll still got all the dildos. Yeah, you better. <laughs> Maybe you get all most of the dildos out. Was uh... You know what? I did say earlier that the the dildos weren't super distracting. 
But I mean, <laughs> one of the first things I did notice when I got control of the game was I ran past the dildo. <laughs> 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 and like, I did notice it. It is noticeable, but I wouldn't say it's overwhelming. <laughs> I wouldn't. I would say after the initial, oh, there's a there's a lot of fake cock in this game. Um, it, you kind of you move past, and you're like, oh, there's a car that just flew up into there or whatever. Yeah. I mean, like surely, the... surely all cock in that game is is fake cock because it is. Because it's it's a game. It's a game. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Saying that but within the game world. I'm, you know, I'm keeping it in character. An in character. <laughs> Wait a minute, all, what about the... You're not got like cyber enhancements down there. Well, I mean, I, did I not tell you about this? Did I not tell you about the, the, the little mission that I had to do? No. <laughs> all right, right. So I pulled up at a, I pulled up at a place, right? Uh -huh. and, and this boy comes running at me holding his crotch, right? <laughs> and like I was like, hold on, mate. What are you wanting? And he was like, quick, you've got to get me to a dock. Uh, my my implant's gone gone crazy, <laughs> and his crotch was on fire because <laughs> he's got a new implant in his in his in his oh, penis. I think you might have mentioned the. the it was very GTA-ish. Yeah. yeah. There's a very good uh, bug that I saw earlier on today where a guy was just constantly peeing. Like, even though he wasn't, like, trying to. And then, at one point, he kneeled down and started, like, eating something off the ground on the area where he's just been peeing for the last oh. five minutes and then stands up and continues to pee. I did it's have one point glorious. where everybody... I was at this little market and all these people started looking on the ground. Like, at first it was just one lady and then it was like, Oh, there's some more people around here looking on the ground. And then it was like, oh, there's this seems to be a thing that people do at this market. I I wrote it off as somebody maybe lost the contact lens. <laughs> but I have seen it in the bug videos where there's a lot of people sort of just looking on the ground. Amazing. There's some people that are awfully, awfully close with their friends or partners. Um, like transposing through them close all right you're not talking like and covid restrictions close <laughs> i mean i mean being shared in the same physical space literally um as as someone i think is too close it's um, like we have merged that's purposes. against the law um yeah yeah so you two meters guys it's like no no it's okay we we occupy the same time and space now <laughs> yeah i see <laughs> And you and there was a stripper that wasn't dancing. She was just, she wasn't tea posing, I don't think, but she was just standing. Um, and the pole was going right through her. <laughs> like it was it was going through her like all the way to right the top of her head. Have you seen the motorcycle tea pose one where the guys like revving away yes. the motorcycle, and yeah. then the guy just tea poses at the back, but then his trousers <laughs> disappear. <laughs> it's just this bare arse. Nice. It's just so broken. the thing. The thing is, it's it's broken in my favorite way that games are broken. Like it seems like for the most part, you can still play it and still complete it, but it's broken in just hilarious ways. Like there's only oh, the one so mission good. that I had a problem with so far, um, in a way that it stopped me completing it. But it didn't actually stop me completing it. But it stopped me getting the reward for it. Ah. Um, so that was, it was a, it was like a redneck barbecue. And these guys were like, oh, let's shoot the mayor. And so they had like four, like, shooting ranges set up, and it was like pictures of this boy's head. And you had to take a shot of whatever, I don't know what it was, mm -hmm. but you had to take a shot of some alcohol. And then you had however, however long to shoot at these targets. And so I went and did the first one, and I thought, all right, I, I didn't get quite all of the, the shots in in time. I didn't take out all the targets, but I did pretty well. And you have to beat, I think, 44. And so I think I got like 11. I was like, well, you know what? That's pretty solid average. If I keep up with that, I'll get 44 and I'll, I'll do it. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I got to the second range, and I took the shot, and I couldn't pull my gun out. 
<laughs> I couldn't shoot. I couldn't do anything. Um, and then they go, oh, your time's up. I was like, um, I didn't really do anything. And I, re I reloaded quick saves a few times. Um, I started from the beginning again, and I managed to not shoot at all at one point. Um, I, and it ended up, I, I managed to get the shots in the first round and then the shots in the, in the third round, but not in the, the second or the fourth round. And so obviously I didn't win. Um, but I'd already realized that if I failed the mission, I could loot the gun that was the reward off of the guy that had it. So I just thought, I'll just fail this mission. It says, it says mission completed. You've done the challenge. You didn't win it, but you've done the challenge. And then grabbed the gun, started getting shot at and bailed. Like just, just hightailed it out of the building, <laughs> down the street, into my car, and I was away. <laughs> so I got my legendary <laughs> gun that I wanted to get, and I would have got, but I had to do it by nefarious means. So as Amazing. always, murder and robbery is the answer. Yep. So I was away to say I didn't murder him, but I think I might have blew his head off. Yeah. <laughs> I might not be deaf in that in that world. Who knows? Probably not. Uh... I'm. On percent so you may lose me soon well are we nearly we're new must nearly be done anyway right so yeah, i think we are done yeah did we actually finish everyone's turn yeah so. was, yeah was talking about our <laughs> then we got, games. we got cyberpunk yeah. tracked <laughs> very much so we went back to cyberpunk because well that, that is ashton kutcher now. make ashton, ashton kutcher in it I just, I cannot believe I bought this game. This is going to be fun. What I to ask is, didn't you play Watchdog when it first came out? Me? Yeah. No, It's I, basically I just Watchdog with dildos. It's not Watchdog. Watchdog was pretty badly bugged at the start. Watchdog was pretty janky. I think I think The Witcher 3 was knackered when it came out as well. And it, they updated with the Blood and Wine, whatever it was called. Yeah, like the thing was, I guess the expectation wasn't as high on that game, so it was kind of relatively unnoticed by comparison. Yeah, yeah, that's it. I but... just, I, know, I, just, I think there's been a lot of games that came out and it's just been overhyped and hit a point, and but they all seem to have just like coasted through this, where Cyberpunk is maybe the turning point for it. I read, I've I've since read a lot of the pre-release. <laughs> talk about cyberpunk and a lot of the press release stuff does very much talk about it being a lot more than it actually is very um which i think people wouldn't have sky. noticed and wouldn't yeah yeah a little bit but unfavorably so because no man's sky was just a different game than what people yeah, thought it was that's true um admittedly i'd built it up as being more than it was um but yeah, No Man's Sky you could play like it it worked, whereas this one doesn't. So I think if if everything had been competent, people wouldn't have cared so much that it was marketing bullshit, and that a lot of these things weren't in it. Yeah, but well, it's the the thing. I don't know if I sent you guys that in the group. It was the the scene from The Simpsons where like Lisa's <laughs> driving the barbecue away with the the ride on lawnmower. And uh, Marge goes, Bart, no! And Bart's like standing yeah. right next to her and is like, oh, sorry, force of habit. Mm -hmm. But uh, <laughs> instead of that, it's like, Bethesda, no! And it's CD Projekt Red pushing the thing away. Yeah. Bethesda's <laughs> just standing right next to her and is like, oh, sorry, force of habit. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's very, very accurate. Yeah. Very accurate really and very amusing. Yeah. I mean, oh. it's cyberpunk, right? It's not asked me to pay any extra money. True. Yep. Like as a well, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think they'll ever be able to get that one. <laughs> <laughs> but there's so much. Like there's there's a huge, huge amount of playability with your Barbie doll. You can you can dress up in so many different outfits. Mm -hmm. You can't change mm -hmm. your. You can't actively change your hair. But some of the hats and stuff change your hair. Huh. You put bandana on and it ties your hair up, or. Um, you can, there was one 
it was a hat, and I think I put ponytail and put the hat, put it through the hat. Um, so, so stuff like that. Like barbers shops or hairdressers. No, there's no no barber shops. You can't change your tattoos or anything. Um, to be fair, like tattoos, it's like four presets. Like right. you can't you can't put like a specific tattoo on specific parts of your body or anything like that. Um, yeah. it's, it's it's just. <laughs> Well, actually, I'm, in one sense, I'm kind of like, well, it's a, it's kind of like a, an FPS, like an RPG, yeah, FPS type thing. But yeah, now I'm thinking like Saints Row had, like Saints Row had a lot of character mm. customization for mm -hmm. and bang bang, yeah, and dildos. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have got a dildo that I can use as a weapon. <laughs> the dildo bat was just such a great weapon. I, ha I haven't Three. used it yet, but I've got. I can't remember its name. It's Sir something. Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll look it up. up. It's it's not as obvious as that. Oh, I no. say that. I say See, that I'm now, and it's going to be. I'm thinking of like terrible. My Hero Academia. There's a character <laughs> called Sir Night Eye, and now I've just got something else in my in my eye. No, my eye. No, not my eye. In, my eye. <laughs> in your mind's eye. Oh, in the mind's eye. Jesus. Oh dear. Uh. <laughs> Anyway, Did you know, as a, as a quick aside, does anyone know that, um, you know how like CD Projekt Red is obviously the developer of the game, that CD Projekt, or the publisher, is yeah. the parent company, CD Projekt also own GOG. Oh, yeah. is that why you get the bonuses yep. with... Uh... I did not know that. That was no. why, because they they've been, they removed, what was it, Devotion or something from... Yes, old games, that... and then that's also led to backlash against well, Cyberpunk because it's the same thing. <laughs> well, you say they they removed it. They were like, "Guys, it's totally happening. Devotion coming to GOG. Coming. Guys, we heard a lot of email from gamers, and now that's not happening. Peace out." <laughs> it's yep. like, actually, you realise that you still want to sell games in China. Sorry. So it's called Sir John Falastiff. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Beautiful. Yes. What writing? Yeah. You um, could ask. <laughs> just, a, just a quick um, uh, side note, going back to the first quarter and saying things that happened with Couch Fuel itself. Was, uh, we were trying to we try like release another Resident Evil nightmare thing. Yeah, still, still not. We're, we're trying to, anything. we were trying to do stuff. Yeah, <laughs> there's then, there was stuff that we were trying to. Do. Stuff happened, mm -hmm. uh, or didn't? Then, or it didn't happen. Well, it kind of happened, and then it didn't happen, and then lockdown happened anyway. So, scuffered the plans anyway. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, but is that still something you want to you want to jump back onto when it's safe to go outside? Oh, it's safe to go back inside. Yeah. Oh, it's safe to go back inside. You can do it outside. Well, it's safe for somebody else to go inside your house. <laughs> it's, it's never safe to go in my house. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> I think... I think you... <laughs> I'm just saying. It's not, not for any, any violence or anything, really. Just for awkwardness. Just awkwardness. Just awkwardness and possibly no heating being on. Oh, uh, it's pretty warm in this place now, man. <laughs> it's bloody roasting in here right now. I've had the heating on since before we started, and I I really wanted to turn it off about quarter two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was like, ah, it's not going to be too bad, but it, it's getting. I'm glad we're getting nearly done because I'm I am cooking. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So uh, that that's been the uh, Couchfield's year uh, review thing for the the year twenty twenty. Quite. What did you say? Couch. Yeah, oak oh, wipe couch. Wipe couch. <laughs> wipe the couch. Wipe couch wipes. Uh, wipe clean couch. Store. And I'm sure we'll yeah, be back in there. Kirsty's face says it all there. <laughs> <laughs> What's on that couch me. that you have to wipe? <laughs> um, oh, the one that's on fire. <laughs> I don't think I wiping think... them will help. I <laughs> to, don't to know, you fair, get fire blankets. 
Well, you don't That's want true. your fire back. I feel like so. um, I feel like if we were to get, I've got parsec working pretty well now, mm. and I feel like if we were able to, because I think when we when we played Silent Hill, uh, a little bit that seemed to work out pretty well. Yeah, Silent Hill and um, your channel, Steve. But I, f- I feel like there might be more opportunity to do stuff like that using Parsec, though. Because, like, it's... De- de- I, don't, I don't want to plug me. I, 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 I don't need plugged. I can I can exist somewhere else. <laughs> oh, wait. No, hang on. I mean, sure. if you want to. <laughs> tell no one. Oh. <laughs> That's not the right words. Whoops. Sorry. Cyberpunk on the mind. Um, yeah, um, well, you're, you're getting it right now. On the mind, actually. <laughs> but if you, I, I think it's one of those things where, like, if uh, like if we could get that working properly, then we could sit and play through whatever games we want as a yeah. group again. Yeah, I was thinking. Which, I was thinking about it myself in the sense that there's always been that idea you wanted to do with uh, multiple controllers, multiple players, multiple. Uh, well, of course. I just wanted to be a dick and basically. Uh, Split the controllers between two people. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking which could be, which could make or break, depending. <laughs> oh, I think it might break me. <laughs> I think I also think, uh, agreed. I think that'd be good because I was thinking getting yeah, Streets of Rage two on the go, two player. Oh God. And and both of you have like the offset directions and like one right. controller, one of the buttons. And it the... can go one better. One better here, Colin. Uh-huh. Split the controls between six people. Have oh. one person doing up, <laughs> down, left, right, punch and kick. Oh, I'll, and I'll... everyone can jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh. oh, no. Oz has oh, left so the conversation tight. because of that. Shit, sorry, Oz. He, he uh, rage quit. <laughs> oh, no, he was very it, it, it was that good. <laughs> I, I was just that's that's more, uh yeah. I was thinking just more of move up and down, uh, to like both players. Two <sighs> players are playing each other. You have one up and one controlling up and down the other character, where the other one start controlling left and right of that of their own character. Oh Jesus, no! Uh, 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 someone will have like either the special move for like the jump button. Uh, of the wrong character and all that. I think that that'd be a challenge to see if we can get through Streets of Rage. <sighs> Mate, I don't think you'd be able to get through the menu without Rage quitting on that. <laughs> no, I can, I can get through that. <laughs> okay, let's play Overcooked 2 next week. No. No, that's, that's okay. just the wrong, wrong okay. idea there, Craig. No. Okay, okay. Why are we going to work with Over? No, it's not going to work with Over. Streets of Rage. Oh, work the streets of rage. Yeah, I'm sure. sure. There's there's more buttons. There's more buttons and there's more things happening. Yeah. I'll just race quit and overcook without anyone helping me. <laughs> you didn't you didn't rage quit. Uh, it, it, you didn't rage quit because people were trying to help you. You rage quit because you were frustrated with the fact that people were not doing what you needed them to. Yes. Do this. And it was very funny to watch. It was like, no, you're chopping the onions all wrong. Fuck. You chop them only one way. It's a, it's a Aye, that was rats. why we couldn't understand. That as well, yeah. Yeah. Don't, right. Don't do this way. I mean, I um, am going to let Cyberpunk download. Yes. Pikachu. Yes. And we we'll should probably um, say goodbye to people. I think we what should goodbye to people. Us? I am waving. I, I am too. I'm holding up a sure. mug. Look, <laughs> this mug, limited edition. Only Send one. us money for this mug that is out of focus. <laughs> it is really out of focus. Colin's, Colin's very pixelated right now. Colin's going to eat bit before he signs off. Um, <laughs> yep. Talking about uh, Super Rage. Yes, yeah, yeah you're, you're, you've gone Streets of Rage mode. Anyway, um, it was 16 bit. Yeah, he's got motion smoothing on. No, yeah. <laughs> Colin has no smooth motion. Nope, I'm janky as shit. I'm almost like, <laughs> anyway, yes. Less elbows, though. 
Oh, I'm, that's that's a, te- what a horrible thing to say. It's like you're the cyberpunk of people. <laughs> <laughs> no, Colin does shit. work. Okay. I mean, he might be broken as shit, but I think we're all feeling that a little bit this year. Yeah. Um, but he does definitely work. It's like, yes, yeah, it's like he's not that broken. Opens waistcoat. Ah, dildos. I see. <laughs> <laughs> no dil- less dildos. No dildos. Anyway, um, yeah, that, that cup isn't actually for sale. But if you want it for sale, <laughs> no. <laughs> of course, everything has a price. This is the world, Mister Draft. Everything has for sale. Certainly, we live in a capitalist world, so we've got seller wares. Do you have, if you have giraffe money to perhaps offer for the mug? Mm-hmm. There's millions, says Jeffrey, all under one roof. I've literally mm-hmm. just got, like, welcome to Night City, we've got mugs to sell. <laughs> <laughs> cyber mug! It is a cyber mug. Oh, oh you go to bed. Oh, no. Yeah. I'm going to go. <laughs> Wake I'm, up, Samurai. I need to turn. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> only fools and horses, but in cyberpunk. <laughs> Could we please make that as the advert for the mugs? I was crying. We've got samurai. We've got, We've got mugs to sell. We've got mugs to sell. Well, on that Email note, Kian is people, and we'll see. We we'll might see, be there we'll see you later uh, at some point. We're not very regular these okay. days. No, we can't <laughs> say see you next Tuesday. We're gone. See you later, guys. It isn't even this Tuesday. Bye.